My name is Ransom and welcome back to Vault of the Void. Again, at the top of this episode, I would like to tell you that this series of Vault of the Void is sponsored by Spider Nest Games. At the top of the description down below, you can find the Steam store page to pick up Vault of the Void for yourself. And on that store page, a thing that I forgot to mention last episode as I was uh, tripping over myself to just say, hey, obviously I like this game and you should get it if you can and you'd like to as I was tripping over myself to say those kinds of things I forgot that I'm actually quoted on the Steam store page <laughs> like come on how much more full throated an endorsement can you get I know I know I'll move on for just a second but uh, I just thought it was a funny thing that I happened to forget last time we've got hard we've got impossible and we've got impossible plus do I move up to... Yeah, let's move up to impossible. Let's do it. All right. We are going to be starting the Enlightens Marshall deck here. With the ability to tend time, or bend time rather, he strikes quickly, setting up kills well into the future. This is a class where you are going to have to think a couple turns ahead of what you are currently playing. We can see their base deck with the mechanics Future Strike and Slow as well as block we've seen previously, delay block, foresight, and opener and rage. We've seen rage before, we haven't seen opener before. I'll go through those in just a moment, but before we get to them, let's explain a little bit about the character. This version, the martial version, begins with the starting spell Leverage, has four turns cooldown, applies one week to all enemies, and deals two she three times to all enemy. Now she is effectively a counter of death creeping up on an enemy. When she ex uh, sorry, exceeds an enemy's HP, it'll destroy that enemy and transfer 50% of that she split among remaining enemies. It's unaffected by vulnerable and it's not a debuff. Not a debuff. Very, very important. It is an alternative form of damage. However, it's an alternative form of damage that doesn't really cause anything to occur until it blows up. We're not going to be doing too much she in the martial deck. We're probably going to do more of that in the mindfulness deck. What with all the she that starts in the base deck there. Uh, but it is important to know in general as well, because of course, hey, we might be jumping in back and forth between them. Like we were playing the bleed version of the hidden deck and I got a decent amount of blade cards in the last deck as well. So still worth knowing the starting artifact, which is shared between the two. That is to say martial and mindfulness is every third time you enter Zen, draw a card. At the end of every even turn, all enemies will suffer one fatigue. So a Zen state is entered by playing three cards of the same type in a row. In Zen, all cards cost negative one energy, but it ends after five cards have been played or the turn ends. And then fatigue scales your future strike, increasing the amount of time it's applied, and scales your Shi by the amount of value of the fatigue. So it's effectively a counter that means the later you get into the fight, the more impactful the things that you have are and can do. Uh, I say that it's uh, at the later you get into the fight with the prayer beads applying fatigue, you can also apply fatigue with the cards themselves. And then the key mechanic is chain. This is the one that triggers Zen. The Enlightened makes use of a chain mechanic. Each time you play three cards of the same type in a row, you'll increase your chain to three and enter Zen. Once in Zen, all cards will cost one less energy. What is Future Strike? Well, Future Strike is one of the timing mechanics that I was talking about, the kind of thinking ahead a couple turns mechanic. Uh, it inflicts damage at the end of every even turn and then resets to zero. Doesn't count as a debuff, by the by. Slow we've seen previously reduces frenzy. Uh, delay block is exactly what you might assume. Blocks at the start of the next turn before drawing cards. Uh, there's Clarity, which has Foresight. Reduce the cost of a card in the deck to zero until that card is played. Clone and Ghost copies will not retain the lowered cost from Foresight. We haven't seen many Clone or Ghost things, but we will, I imagine, possibly in this run even. Future Strike is, we've seen that previously, uh, Opener. It is conditional as to whether or not this is the first card played in a turn. If it is, it has some effect that it achieves. Here it's 25% rage for gaining momentum. I'm ready to go in. We pop open a new booster here, getting ourselves... Ooh. OK. 
Okay, some pretty good stuff here. We've got Unbalance over on the left-hand side, deals five damage, uh, sorry, five Future Strike one time. If it's used as a follow-up, that is, if it triggers, oh, sorry, it triggers if your chain matches the card type or if you're already in Zen, it'll apply a week. The upgrade to this gives it one more Future Strike. Sorry, uh, not one more Future Strike, uh, two more damage on the Future Strike. But it happens uh, one time. You can see one time isn't increased by the upgrade to the card. It's increased by fatigue on the enemy. To bring that back in. Then we have Mirror Guard here. Two cost Echo Block. Uh, it is Block 12 and Echo Wall. Whenever an enemy attacks, the damage they inflict will be reflected back. Ticked down by one at the start of your turn. Whoa, that's an incredible... Okay, that's that's huge that's absolutely huge we're immediately putting that into the deck uh blood for blood deals nine damage if you have lost health this battle it'll trigger an extra time including the void stones on it upgrades to be 13 this upgrades to be 17 block echo wall that's wild uh there's also reconciliation transfers all she to the target and on slay she will have a 100 percent death transfer so if you put a bunch of she on other targets and then reconcile a target that doesn't have it, but the cumulative she is more than its HP, it will trigger the slay effect and give a bunch of death transfer back to everyone else. It's, it's, it's neat. That's a neat card right there. Uh, it also upgrades to have a purge effect. So on purge, deal two she to all enemies. And then finally we have clairvoyance. Vision two, delay block 10. Vision chooses a card from your discard to put on top of your deck. So this is a really good way to kind of just like dig back or set up your next turn, right? Delay block 15. So you can block for 15 at the start of the next turn as well as draw two chosen cards. Again, we get back to the idea of planning your uh, turns ahead of time. Let's choose a combo piece for some of these. Using opposing forces and opener would give us echo wall. Upgrading it removes the opener tag. Hmm. Okay. There's also Combination Strike over here. Deal four Future Strike two times. Upgrades three times. If you use it as a follow-up, it draws one. Uh, I mean, those are the ones that I'm probably going to want to get. Chaotic Blur uses an opener to block nine and apply a slow. Or if you use it as a follow-up, instead it applies three vulnerable. Uh, I'm going to take the Combination Strike. I'm just going to I'm gonna play simple. We're going to try and lean in to the Future Strike. Learn a random spell. I don't really like learning a random spell too much. Increase max HP by 15%. Also not, you know, crazy about that. Let's add a random class uncommon to the backpack. Careful advance. Apply seven she two times. Let's have a quick look at the deck. Uh, it is... Wait, hang on. What? Didn't I just get a card that applies she? Huh? I could have sworn this said shit. Well, it's, it, I mean, like, it's even better as it currently is. Uh, cautious Blow deals six Future Strike two times. If it's used as an opener, it will apply week one and also will block six. Neat. Um, so we'll take some of these Lashing Kicks out of the base deck. By the by, uh, Zen is a trigger conditional on these Lashing Kicks to apply that slow. Gaining Momentum. I mean, I have another opener, so I'm actually going to cut a Gaining Momentum to put another opener in. Where is it? Uh, the Cautious Blow. I don't want to get too many openers because then I have a hand that's really, really sad. Uh, let's get a Clairvoyance and a Mirror Guard in there. I also want to get the Combination Strike in. That's probably over a Lashing Kick right there. Wait, do we have two Combination Strikes? No, we don't. I added something weird. Unbalance? I guess I'm okay with putting Unbalance in here. All right. That doesn't look half bad. Oh, no. Okay, we can't get all the treasures. That is annoying. Uh, the only way to do it would be approaching from here to go all the way up. Which would be cool if we could do it, but we can't, so we won't. Dang. Um, hmm. Let's have a look at the map rewards, see if that gives us any information. Applying slow to an enemy will also deal five future strike. Great. Love that. I'm going to target that. 
by clicking it, and that will highlight it on the board outside. Echo will draw one and desync. Desync means it will not add to the chain, but if this gets upgraded, it will still add to the chain. Good. Hmm. How many more of these do I really want? I don't know if I want that many more. I mean, Maneuver's fine as a block card that just draws. Mirror Guard we've already identified is quite good. I'm already going to have energy problems with what I'm currently trying to do here. Those are the ones that seem most... Wow, those are actually Kalinia. We could take all of those. Hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure I know how to get basically maximal value right now. Let me scaffold it in green because these are already in a, kind of a cerulean situation right there. So it would be this down to this treasure room, get that cursed item, visit this empty room. Uh, how many empty rooms are there on the map? There's two. So one of these is going to be the secret room. I'm hoping it's this one. Actually, I kind of hope it isn't this one because I don't want to go here to a secret room because that'll mess up my plans. Anyhow, ignoring the secret room possibility. Uh, there's our maneuver. Then we can go up, get that castle advance, go for a shrine, and then get a combination strike leaving from that shrine as well as we've got both of the upgrades available. In fact, all three of the upgrades available so far on the map. Unfortunately, this space will have been invalidated when I turned it down here. So we'll go up, across, down, get to the Soul Collector. That's a pretty early Soul Collector. I just hope that I have enough to really make use of it. If not, hey, maybe I go to the Dark Mime and I do Picard. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible. What other rewards do you have here? Uh, the room will also reward you a booster pack. Neat. So loop down, and then we'd go across, up, and leave. Something like that is is the general scaffold that I have. We only miss out on like one, two, three, four, five, five fights. Like it's it's a pretty maximal usage of the floor. Okay, and I'm gonna commit to it. Can't sharpen my pencils forever. Eventually, I gotta write. Card on display here is discard one. It's now we wait. Uh, discard one, add two copies of the discarded pile to the discard pile. Discarded card to the discard pile, rather. Your chain, ah, oh, there. That'll give us a little bit of information about the chain, but I feel like we went through it enough handily already. So we've got five threat incoming next turn, which means a single copy of repeating deflection is actually already going to protect us. So I already know what I want to do, which is purge a repeating deflection. It's the second turn, right? Yeah, it's every even turn that we're going to actually deal a damage to them. Which means, more than we were able to previously, we're going to try and set up turns where the battle progress just blows up in a single turn. Uh, speaking of, though, let's use that as an opener in order to get our follow-up. Wait, am I going to be here for four turns? Maybe I'm going to be here for four turns. I'm going to apply leverage as well, then. And then we use balance over here, get weak on you. We purge clarity and use a repeating deflection so that I get to draw a full hand of five next turn with three energy. A hand of five with three energy is particularly important for this character, just because as long as you have three energy, you can probably play three one-cost cards in order to get into Zen on that turn. And Zen is damned important. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's lethal, I think. Uh-huh. And then the she blows them all up. Good fight. Honestly, upgrading these base cards to just get an extra hit on them is not awful. It could be a lot worse. 
This is a card that's already quite dense and I already want to use pretty much every single time that I draw it as my opener as well. Mirror Guard and Cautious Blow are probably our first two upgrades. We'll go for the damage first. Okay. We have found Wait For It. I'm not running behind. But it does give us Echo Wall 1, Foresight 1, as well as Delayed Block 4. Upgrades to give Delayed Block 10. Um... Yeah. I can't put too many two-cost cards in this deck, otherwise it's going to be really rough for us. Uh, outpace is block 15, block 1x for each stack of fatigue across all enemies. And then there's also Spirit Walk. Deal 11 She. It has Ghost, Desync, and Inert. Ghost means it adds a volatile copy back to the hand. Uh, Desync, again, it won't add to the chain. And Inert, it's Void Stone only triggers once per turn. However, you upgrade it, it gets the 13 She and removes Desync and inert. It is a very, very dense way to get a target down. We'll take it. We'll take it. We're also going to go for this cursed item. Your first attack played in Zen each turn applies week one. Sounds good to me. I want to take it. It'll give us one void card to take. If I destroy it, I'll gain three souls. I could drain it to gain eight souls. Honestly, having weak on the target's really good. We don't have too many ways to apply it. We have some. We have a fair few, but we don't have you know, infinite ways to apply it. And that's how many I would need to not want to take another. Unbalance is a follow-up, not a weak. One, two, three. Vision two, delay block. Honestly, I probably just get even more energy for the next turn set up there. Oh, they're getting big. So gaining momentum is here, and we have a lashing kick we'd be able to use afterwards. It's a good opener, but I don't know if I care about it as much as just defending here. It's reflecting, reflecting, and clarity. Making the cautious blow free in the future. We've also entered Zen, so we can weaken someone just by hitting them. Uh, the only problem is that this Cinderhound will deal damage to us right now if we hit them, so we just gotta focus on the Forsaken Pop. Which is fine. Could be worse. So everyone's got that one stack of fatigue represented by the Z Z Z Z Z. Two she, three times to all enemies. I mean, that kills the Forsaken Pop right now. Okay, you're dead in two turns. We can see with the health bar demonstrating the damage will have them dead then. Uh, and you are the 100% as well. Yeah, all right. Maybe I can get away from this fight without having to use my uh, my spell again. Combination Strike is a follow-up right now. Oh, but the Cinder Howl is already dead. Okay, so I don't need to care about that then. And that'll do it. Beautiful. Mirror Guard does want an upgrade as soon as possible, but did I see anything else that wants an upgrade even more? Uh, I 
I think one of the best things I could put in Spirit Walk would actually probably be a yellow Void Stone. The one that we've actually got charging at the moment. Yeah, you know what? Let's upgrade Spirit Walk and put it into the deck. When I say there are like these archetypes and I'm jumping back and forth between them, like that is an extremely simplified version to say that there are two archetypes and I'm utilizing one and I'm utilizing the other, right? There are bridging pieces, um, but also like this is just a good card. Why wouldn't I just put it here? Trick question. I would just put it here and just did. Uh, nothing for the rest of those though. Skeletal Mage. Mm. Thankfully, we have the ability to apply a bunch of slow and a bunch of weak, which is exactly what this mage does not want us to be able to do to them. If your threat is zero at the start of your turn, rage 100%. So that's double damage on the first turn, if nothing else. Uh, if you start... Ah, Boots of Quickness is so good here, though. Dang. Okay. Boots of Quickness. If you start your turn with three energy or less, add a volatile sidestep to your hand. Sidestep is a zero cost card that uh, is a skill. Wait, they call them abilities. Uh, is an ability that gives you block equal to some multiplier. I think it's two times. It might be three times the current energy that you have. We are not going to start any turn with more than three energy. It's not happening. Right? We're going to fully utilize our hand quite consistently. So this is a zero cost card that triggers a chain very effectively and gives us extra defense. It's, it's so good. We even get it in this opening hand. Oh, don't tell me it's desync now. Oh, it's not desync. Thank heck. Thank heck. Uh, follow up for one. Well, unfortunately, I, I can't really use it this turn because I don't have enough abilities. Wow, wow, but I can start absolutely ruining your day. Uh, I'll purge one. I'm not going to play the side step. Wait, I'll play the side step anyway, I guess. Yeah. Get the side step back. Wait a second. Why are you. Oh, because we're confused. I was wondering why it was one cost. Uh, all cards increase their energy cost by one. Rude. Maybe I'll just get a bunch of energy for next turn. Incoming damage is quite high. Already open a slow she. Like, I do have a plan for how I would get... Like, it's purge this, purge this. Play, repeating, clarity, and sidestep. And even then, I still can't play the lashing kick afterwards. Okay, so if I can't slow you... I can't really do too much to you this turn. I want to set up some block for the next turn. I'm going to play a repeating deflection... I'll purge clarity and gaining momentum. I've currently put myself in a position where I'm not getting a sidestep next turn as well, by the by. Not thrilled about that. I guess I could just play for the she. Actually, I'm just going to play the Lashing Kick. Thank heck I did, because I did not draw a bunch of defense here. What I really would have needed uh, to feel more comfy there. A week and block six. This only works if it's my opener. Oh my god, this is really annoying. If I want to stay safe, I've got a cautious blow as my opener. And then I still need two energy when I play sidestep. Is 
So I should just probably purge something then play sidestep here. Makes the most sense right now. I don't think I play Spirit Walk though. I could probably get rid of the Void, but I don't think I'm going to fight long enough for it to really be too much of a concern. Wait a second. Oh, what? Uh, I can't block anymore. I forgot. Volatile Sidestep is not three times, it's two times. No. Why? <laughs> Well, fine. Unfortunately, whenever they deal damage, not only do they invalidate my perfect fight, so I'm getting fewer rewards from this fight than I otherwise would, uh, they're also getting a frenzy every time they do that to me, which is uh, <laughs> it's not ideal for us. Uh, discard cards atop the deck. So I'll put Cautious Blow there. There's also a new bar. There you go. Cop some sheep. And then it comes back to hand. You're about to remove all debuffs, so you know what? Cop some sheep. Cop some sheep. That's good enough for me. Hmm. I'm gaining momentum as well. Alright, we're going super aggressive this turn. Just blow into gaining momentum. It's every second turn, uh, but I could leverage this turn to weaken. But we already did just weaken. Yeah. Should save that again, I think. Mm -hmm. Let's begin with a sidestep. Maneuver draws a card. Clarity gets us to... Nice. Wait a second. When's Future Strike Trigger again? At the end of every even turn. After my opponent's action, I keep forgetting. Boom from your HP when you end your turn. But this is the turn. Hmm. I mean, I can't kill right now anyway. I can't defend right now anyway. So what am I really choosing here? So we have 117 she on the enemy. You know what? I'm gonna pop the ability and just instantly kill them. Just, just, uh, just, just for a little bit of safety there. Remove up to two Affliction cards from your deck is offered here at the Blessing of Cleansing. I'm probably going to take the Blessing of Greed just because of how few souls we have and how soon the Soul Collector and the Merchant are. Uh, let's go to the Spirit War. Excuse me. I just took it out of the deck. See, Dipsy on my part. Let's give you some block it in that socket. I want to rig a cautious blow. Eh, blocking six on the first turn doesn't really make too much sense. I don't know if I've ever drawn and played the mirror guard yet, and it is something that I lost my GD mind over as soon as I saw it, so I'd like to. Corrupted Ogre, the beats constantly regenerates and can inflict dazes before attacking. You can certainly try. You probably still will. Uh, gain some momentum. Lash him, lash him again. Delay block 10. The enemy isn't even attacking this turn. Days goes to top deck, so we know we instantly draw that. Things that muddle with our hand are really, really rough because it is impossible for us to generate Zen on this turn. Which is what we really want to be able to do. Uh, 
can leave myself with more energy for the next turn. Try and use Spirit Walk to save us. You only have to cast Spirit Walk four times. It's not impossible. Let's gain some momentum and lash and kick. Spirit Walk. Spirit Walk. Purge, purge, spirit walk, spirit walk, and that is exactly enough to full defend for us, as well as deal a giant amount of damage. Finally, another defensive card. Or rather, at least another dense defensive card. enough if you strike puts the enemy below the amount of she or, or puts their hp below the amount of she that they currently have so they instantly blow up you can really set up like a dominoes effect if you've uh if you've got it correctly sorted do i work with she? i would not be surprised to upgrade a decent amount of the repeating deflections just as base cards that are quite effective actually yeah I'm going to upgrade one of them right now. I've been under-defended on a lot of turns. Too many turns, frankly. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. Did I? Yeah, I mapped myself away from another mirror guard, but back in time is still on the path. Good. As long as that's confirmed that it's still on the path, because that is so important for us. Uh, this fight we didn't get previously. A aggressive fight with creatures. That, uh, previously, I say in the um, first fight. Uh, first run, rather. Uh, aggressive fight with creatures that can both stack poison and increase their own frenzy. It can get tough to withstand their attacks for that long. I'm probably just going to want to get some leverage out on the board, but I also only really want to do it on the turn that the enemies are attacking because I'm applying one week to all of them. Six threat next turn. You know what? I'll just base play that. They'll attack. So, light work. Uh, they have a strangle effect at the start of their turn. They will consume the leftmost gloom shroom and increase their own frenzy by one. Their destruction of a gloom shroom does not increase the battle progress bar. Unfortunately. Mirror guards, nice. Let's use that ability at least right now. Hmm. Spirit Walk will basically just be lethal as soon as we draw it, so... Happy doing that one there. Let's get some delayed block for the next turn, I guess. Also trigger Zen, because we can. Uh, ooh, Combination Strike is actually already a... Yeah, right, right. It doesn't have to follow up if it's in Zen. Easy. Pop a Lash and Kick in there, too. Play the maneuver in one final lashing kick, and then I'm gonna hold the mirror guard in hand. It's my excess defense for the next turn. Mm -hmm. We sidestep our way into a mirror guard. Purge repeating deflection to play one more. Two. That's too many turns. So we do kill that next turn. It's just, do I survive until then? Oh, that's a lot of damage. Ah. Uh. I think this is fine. Right? 
Okay, they blew one and up, uh, one another up in turn, and then finish it off. Beautiful. That's kind of a domino effect right there. I want to go. I want to go to the space. Let me go. All right, merchant, what do you got? Mind game. Deal she to all enemies equal to the target's future strike, and then set their future strike to zero. We can get it regular, but the upgraded version would uh, require an investment of a little bit more money here, and it also adds solo, so if any is alone, uh, it will increase the target's she by 25%. Hmm. Spirit Essence is a damned good card. Deals nine she and Zen, it gives you an energy. So anything that gives you energy here so that you can afford to play as many cards as possible to get into she more consistently as, sorry, into Zen more consistently is good in my book, at least. Uh, the base version of it is that. And then the upgraded version has chain one. Uh, chain one means that it will contribute one more to the chain. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take an upgraded version of that and put it in the deck. A lash and kick out. Yeah, we get a lot of she in this deck now, so I'm. I'm not. I'm not too mad about it. To be real with y'all, I'm. I'm fine with it. If anything. Back in time, applying slow to an enemy will also apply for you. Five future strike. Yeah. I like that because we do have all of the kicks in the deck that do the slow. Soul collector. <laughs> yeah, we can't afford temporal prism, which would be. Your first card played each turn is foreseen. My God. Your first card played each turn is zero cost? Incredible. When applying slow to an enemy with fatigue that doesn't already have slow, apply slow one. So that's going to synergize with the thing that we were about to pick up after this point. Although we'll previously look at Sugar Rush. Uh, you'll start all fights with your energy at its maximum. That's not bad either. I'll take the hooked bow there and then come down to back in time. The reason to take that hooked blow. Bow, rather, sorry. Uh, corpse Beast. Mm. Capital Advance applies five she two times, and as an opener applies slow. I'm going to cut out another opener for the deck and put that in, but it is getting really, really hard to do that. Timely Maneuver blocks nine this turn and has a lower delay block, so that's an easy substitution for a repeating. Yeah, I'm having a lot of energy problems. The Seer's Eye, mousing over a mob room will allow you to see which mobs await inside. Every second fight, you'll start with stealth, meaning your enemies will skip that turn. There's also, at the end of your turn, before your threat triggers, deal she to all enemies equal to your unused Zen card plays. And then there's Cultist Ward. Each time you play a buff card, delay block 10. I like this. We're not maximally using our Zen consistently. So this is just giving us, you know, often three she at the end of each turn. It's pretty good. Ooh, spirit Essence. Hmm. Actually, this one's pretty good. We'll sidestep our way into repeating and clarity. <sighs> Look, clarity, just hit anything that's two cost, basically. Which just blows a good target. Zen, uh, the Spirit Essence will give us the extra chain as well, but honestly, the biggest reason to use it is just for the she damage. And the extra energy, yeah, it's good. And I'll lash and kick you, and I'll lash and kick you. So I've got two unused plays on my Zen right now, which means at the end of this turn, the enemy gains two. To their she, that is. To their she, that is. Keep mirror guard for next turn and then just hard purge. We've got so much energy, hard purging's a bad idea. Yeah, flip on, it's nice. And then I can hard purge after the fact. Because now I get a hand of five cards and I'll have five energy to play them. There you are. That's fine. I 
things all that want to be cast as follow-ups. It's our mirror guard. Look, they want to be cast as follow-ups really badly. Fine. Follow-up to apply weak. That's the second stack of weak now. Start the turn with basically no energy. Uh, yeah, I'll be in the fight long enough to have leverage definitely be worthwhile. Definitely. Ooh, that's not good for us right there, though. I'll just set us up with a bunch of extra energy for the next turn. Unfortunately, it does mean we will miss out on the sidestep. They get good attacks. Okay. Look, they could be worse. Let's gain some momentum and then walk a spirit or two. Maneuver blocks for the same amount as spirit walk does right now. Uh, how many more plays do I have? Oh, wait, we, we can see it here. Zen State, we've got four more plays. Uh, and if I do all Spirit Walk, I can play it three more times, and three more Spirit Walk is actually enough to fully defend us this turn. Unfortunately, I can't purge the last one because it's volatile, by the way. Just in case anyone's wondering. Well, annoyingly, it looks like they did get us right now on the final opportunity they had. Let's burn on balance, play sidestep, and then I can play all the rest of it. Yeah, sidestep, timely maneuver, repeating deflection, and then mirror guard at the very end. Actually, no, they didn't get us. You tried, bud. You hit us with 30. We have an echo wall up, though, so you also took 30 damage for having done so. Nice try, bud. Cop some she and die for it. So there is back in time now available for us. The upgraded version of it uh, deals eight future strike instead. It is going to be the card that I'm going to give the socketed green stone to. So that is going to be the card that we draw in the opening hand or a card at the absolute least that we draw in the opening hand. I don't want to cut too many more of the lashing kicks from the deck because the, the slow that I give to enemies is, is pretty important. Um, Clairvoyance is really hard for us to play. It's it's expensive. It doesn't do anything instantaneously. We're on the back foot a lot of the time. Spirit Essence, eh? Spirit Essence wouldn't be a bad card to put the blue Void Stone in. The only thing is I'm really holding out to get a black Void Stone to put in it instead so that I can get excess energy out of it. Black Void Stone again is Ghost and Volatile itself applied to a card. Uh, that looks good to me at the moment. Deal next damage plus, uh, sorry, equal to six plus four for each attack played this turn. Yeah, yeah, that's probably good enough to go in the deck. Oh, thank you. I need an easy fight like another Hound's L. Now they're going to absolutely dunk on me. It's going to be real embarrassing. Tenth right next turn. Purge both of those. We should do it, right? Well, Spirit Essence to start the turn, getting a second on the chain, basically saving us an energy. Then we're going to follow up the Spirit Walk, and then Spirit Walk, and then Spirit Walk, maybe? Oh, I think Spirit Walk will probably be good here as well. <clears throat> now what? Now what? Oh, Spirit Walk. Uh... 
I can't play an attack card on you, otherwise you'll deal four damage back to me right now. Fine. So we'll do the domino effect again instead. Back in time gets upgraded immediately. That is going to be a core part of the deck. I really desperately want to get the void out of our deck right now. However, ooh, fatigued. We'll trigger if the target has fatigue. Interesting, interesting. These these up here are good. Getting a pack, getting a, a upgrade as well. Like they're really good. I might have to get another cursor item at the start of the next floor and then try and find a shrine afterwards to remove two void stones so that I can actually do it like efficiently. Forged soldier. We fought you last time. That's a last one. You are the which one? Ah, right, yes, 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 yes. You are well defended. You ignore the first instance of damage or debuff applied each turn. We don't do those. Well, not so much at least. We didn't apply weak there, but future strike. Should save a mirror guard for the next turn. Fortitude equal to your AP. And then attack. Good lord, can you let up, please? If you attack every turn, I'm going to uh, die about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be dead. It doesn't seem like a, a good time. Do I want to perfect the fight if possible, though? So perfecting the fight would demand that I double block this turn. I haven't got that much block coming up in the deck is the thing until I get to Spirit Walk at the absolute least, so I'm, I'm hesitant to take a turn to fully defend here. So this goes for 8 and then 12, so we get the full defense. At least you hit me yourself with that Echo Wall. Get up to five energy for the next hand and have she spread essence in it, rather. Oh! We actually got a defensive hand. And damn, it's actually going to be defensive enough. I didn't think it was going to be. <laughs> I was almost damn certain it wasn't going to be. Clarity, and then zero cost the opener. Should I weaken you this turn? No, I don't need to weaken you this turn because we're already defended against the incoming damage. Excuse me? Do you only attack? I 19 defense every single turn? Like, we're generating it, but it's, it's at a pinch every time. All right. Give them the slow, because they don't care about the slow, so we're fine with that. Uh, and then cast this to immediately get into Zen. Combination strike draws. Let's add a bunch of slow to you. I may actually need to hold Spirit Walk for the next turn. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Because how am I going to uh, generate 14 defense suddenly out of nowhere? Getting some more shield on the enemy with the spirit walk doesn't seem bad right now. It's just I don't know if I can perfect the fight after it. Let's 
maneuver our way into a mirror guard. Let's 4C again, just something expensive in the deck. Of course, slow is a good target. So this is a trying to apply weak. Hang on, this will compete weak and slow. Okay, so weak applied after the slow. So we know the weak from Sweaty Palm is applying after the full resolution of the attack card that triggers it. Good to know. 14 threat next turn. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Fourteen twenty-one. Can I play it enough times? I can. Okay. Get foreseen. Slow you and kick you again. And then honestly, I just play Spirit Walk as many times as I can now. Oh, careful advance is actually more damage than it. But I can purge this to play another spirit walk where I can't do the inverse. Nice. That was only just not enough to kill the enemy. However, if I get into Zen this turn, they will instantly die. Or I could just give him some she and that'll do it too. Alright, booster pack, what do you got? Deal one future strike a single time and then desync. It's a zero cost, so it's an easier way to get into Zen. The only problem is desync, so I would have to upgrade it, although we do get an upgrade relatively soon. Uh, replay, rewind target. When you rewind a target, you return their intention to what it was the, t the turn prior. The previous turn, I was trying to say at the same turn as turn prior. Uh, if you purge this, you can delay block four and keep it in the deck. Duck and Wee blocks eight, sifts one. When you sift a card, you discard a card from your deck straight to the discard pile. Uh, it counts as a discard as well by the buy, which is going to be more important when we play the next character. But for the moment, we'll move on. Aggressive attack. Deals 20 damage, apply a vulnerable one, and recur a random attack. Just gets you another attack back in hand. It's pretty good. Rinse and repeat. Recur the top card. Upgrades to have overcharge one on. These are good. That's a pretty good book pack right there. I'm going to cut a gaining momentum to put a Furious Assault into the deck. I'm going to cut a Unbalanced to put a Swift Kick into the deck. Combination Strike is also really good, but again, our energy is our problem. I want to get Stoicism in the deck as well, but it is also going to be have to, uh, be, have to be upgraded. Mm -hmm. Good work, Ryan. Great language skills. Can I remove... There we go. Another repeating collection now there. Rinse and Repeat is not a bad card either. It's very good. But do I want to play it? No. I may not want to play it. In fact, I almost certainly don't want to play it right now. No can do. Or no can do. Uh, each time your deck is reshuffled, Echo Wall 1. I like it. And the fights do go relatively long. Ooh, Void Link. We haven't seen this for a bit. Uh, this being grows stronger for every four cards you play in a turn and has the ability to expel your cards. We play more than four cards in a turn because that's how we get value out of the whole uh, thing that we do, so... Ooh. Wish I could play back in time before playing Curveful Advance, but this won't apply the slow if I do that. It's fine for it not to apply the slow. It's just rude. Don't need any delayed block. Holding on to Mirror Guard's pretty damn good against this enemy. Yeah, let's get to three energy next turn so we get a sidestep. Ah. Gonna be lowered the amount of cards I was gonna draw that turn by crippling me. My hand size is reduced by the cripple value. It's cleared at the end of our turn. Uh. 24 threat next turn. So I want as much delayed block as I can get on the board. Uh, 
that's not to lay block. Just purge it for that reason as well. And duck and weave? No, I'll leave duck and weave. We get some she on the enemy at the absolute least from the Sapphire Sloth because we had none of our Zen cards played that turn. Ooh, I should save Spirit Walk for an attacking turn, definitely. That much is incredibly clear to me. Or do it this turn. So that would be something like Purge, Duck and Weave, and Mirror Guard. Or rather, we Spirit Walk. Then Purge them. Spirit Walk. We are now on two remaining after that. Then I can actually Spirit Walk again. Purge a Lashing Kick. Spirit Walk and then play the other Lashing Kick. It's a lot of damage going out. To be very clear, it's a huge amount of damage going out, and we don't have to defend ourselves next turn. That's far and away far better of a solution. Spirit Walk, Purge, Purge, Spirit Walk. Uh, and then I... Th then we Spirit Walk again. Hit you with one in order to get the... How much did that do? Okay, so this is because we have the... Uh, the other buff out. That is to say, back in time, applying slow to an enemy will also deal Future Strike 8. We did Future Strike, Future Strike, Future Strike, which applied a debuff slow 2. Interesting. Which inflicted Future, eight, uh, future Strike 8 two times on the enemy. So here's a weirdness, I think. The card that we played was a Lashing Kick, which applies one slow. However... The Hooked Bow says, when applying slow to an enemy with fatigue that doesn't already have slow, apply slow one. But it's not a second application of slow. It's a uh, an increase to the amount of slow that is given by a card. Why does this matter? Well, because back in time, whenever you apply slow to an enemy, will also deal Future Strike X. So... You might think, but you dealt to Future Strike X, the enemy. They have fatigue. Anytime I give them Future Strike, it is applied an additional time, which means they just took that. So only one stack of slow, or rather one instance of slowing the enemy has gone off in this turn. Interesting. Your first attack applies week one. And those might have been the same stack if I was playing a card that had weak on it, but I played a card that had slow. It's just it's just about whether or not those individual debuffs are quantizable or not, because if they aren't, then, you know, uh, effects that give us an extra slow are still fine because they give us an extra slow, which is pretty good. Uh, it's just they aren't, you know, the, the kind of, like, game-ending thing that they may have otherwise been with the back-in-time slow, slow. Like, it would have been uh, 16 more Future Strike this turn. When it gets later and the enemy has more fatigue and we're doing things like that more consistently, then it could be even larger. They're actually not even damaging us next turn, apparently. Let's give some clarity to the... Combination Strike. It's gonna purge two tards, get to a total of five for the next turn. Purged repeating deflection, both. Oh, I purged repeating deflections. What did you expel? One card chosen random from your deck will be expelled. If your deck is empty, it will be uh, taken instead from your discard pile. So, what have you expelled for us? 
I expelled back in time. You expelled Spirit Essence and Cautious Blow. Two of our best cards in the deck. Nice work. You absolute cretin. <laughs> you, you beastly nerd. I, you, you're going straight to the graveyard and you'll deserve it the entire way down. Oh my God. We have 36 threat next turn. Play Void out, get rid of it, I guess. Unfortunately, buffing the enemy as well. Oh, I gotta purge that. Oh, I'm gonna need to find Liesl. It's pretty hard to find Lethal when the enemy is taking all the good cards out of your deck. Oh, what are we gonna do about that? I mean, I don't really have many options in this hand. I just play that, and then I lash out a couple times, do some damage just in case, defend and defend. Wait, the future? That went off before the threat. It does go off a, oh my gosh. That was last turn. We had to kind of learn that as well. So heck yes. All right, any of the cards that remove their desync immediately need to be upgraded here. So Swift Kick gets upgraded. Persist. Draw. Good to see. Uh, Infecti. We really want this fight to be faster. Do I have anything that I can make this fight faster with? Aggressive attack would probably do it. Probably don't want to put a Nokando in this deck. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Combination strike, maybe? I could put Rage just immediately on anything that is like a good opener. Swift kick. If you had a Void Stone with Ghost in it, that would be zero energy, one card, get chain two already up. Like that's incredible. Um, yeah, I should probably put another combination strike in here and cut a repeating deflection for it. We just need to get very aggressive in this next combat. If I don't kill them faster, they will kill me the fastest. Mm. Setting up a big spirit walk turn next turn is probably the best way for us to... Just like guarantee our defense. I want to purge a lashing kick. Well, I just played a no kando. No, I didn't play no kando. I played the uh, now we wait. Back in time. Back in time. Uh, we'll 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 keep them. Easy slow trigger in hand. Those are the cards that I would have wanted from replacing as well. By the by, so quite happy with that. Uh, get swiftly kicked. Get brutally walked all over. Two times. First hit also applies a weak, so I could do that over here. Take less damage next turn. I don't like it. And then I do have to purge both of these if I want to be able to play Spirit Walk two times, which I want to want slash need to be able to do i want three of you to go down at the same time that's not going to happen so then i just want one of you to go down very quickly Damage this turn is five. Oh, cautious blow is already a full defend for us. 
And we don't really have to defend that much for next turn either. Okay. Let's just blow and then get the advance, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I even just cautious blow this turn. That's all I do. Twenty-four, but it doesn't happen in the end of this turn. The parts more she over there. Honestly, anything that gives me more she is still worth for us at least right now. Mm, yeah, I believe it. Hit you also with some extra she. block five this turn. All right. Let me see if I can block five. Done. That's why sidestep's so good. I've got one to the chain. I've already full blocked this turn. Three cards. So good. Um, it's repeating deflection and then timely maneuverly. So that midline target is dead this turn. It just is. You're also dead now. I don't think I can get the third. I don't think there's enough she on the board to do it. Yeah, there isn't. Well, this is the maximum amount of them we could have fought, killing two on the same turn and having both of them respawn. I'm just doing it to farm void stones out of the enemy. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, it's, 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 just trust me. Uh, that's one kill. Let's believe that tried to be a second. Mm. I'm gonna keep mirror guard for next turn and draw a sidestep by getting only two energy, getting up to a total of three. Nice. Ooh, Cautious Blow is already block six as well. So block six and then block 12, that's already enough. Don't weave. Yeah, that card. Um, having a lot of openings in the deck is making the sidestep a little bit more rough. To the point that I may want to consider not taking many more openers unless they are particularly spiced. All right. At the end of every even turn, all enemies... Oh, right, of course, these enemies are new. That's why they have very little fatigue on them. That makes sense. Of course that makes sense, Raps. Out here, think of that. It doesn't make sense. Um, I'm going to maneuver. Not what I want to buff to the enemies there. I guess I'll pop out a timely maneuver. Yikes. How many more infection cards do I have in the draw pile? Two more. Yeah. Oh, thank heck we didn't draw any this turn. In fact, we almost certainly drew lethal. One, two. Um. Round eight, yeah. There we go. And they take their future strike damage and then their she kills them. We get out of the fight perfectly. We get a persist as well. Uh, let's drop that into the deck. I really don't want to cut any more lashings. God, am I cutting another repeating deflection? I'm leaving myself so undefended right now. I'm going to cut a clarity. I find it really hard to be excited about playing it at all. Oh, a fairly well-rounded fight with the ability to inflict fear. And killing his minions will heal the king himself. All right, Skelly King. How's it going, bud? 
Uh, these skeletal minions are from dust. When this enemy is destroyed, it will heal the Skeleton King for 16 HP. The Skeleton King is giving us fear, which will cause us to discard cards at the start of our turn. Not one of our favorite things to do. Uh, and it's also applying vulnerable to us. I mean, I can weaken already with leverage. And I will be doing that. Uh, I'm also going to swift kick you, combination strike you. Ooh, careful advance. Gosh. No. Am I going to lash and kick out there? I want the five sheer across all enemies. Hmm, unfortunately we have to discard at the start of the turn as well. We'll drop Furious Assault. We're going to go uh, defensive this turn, definitely. Incoming 30 threat next turn. Yikes. Let's sidestep, maneuver, and then repeating deflection. This is just so that I have some block set up for the next turn. That gives us an energy as well. Oh, well, you know what? I'm going in. One. Two. Three. So you'll die to the Zen State trigger at the end of the turn. Unfortunately, you were not damaged enough. 14. 14. 14. Uh, is probably good enough. Plus this for six, and then this for nine. That's enough. You're flurrying to get a frenzy this turn, which is fine. You can die after that. I don't need you to die earlier than that. So timely maneuver is already enough defense for us. And I'm always drawing a card. I mean, Persist draws a card as well. Right, I'm going to purge Combination Strike, use Persist, drawing a card. There's a Repeating Deflection. I'll purge Repeating Deflection to play Lashing Kick. And then finally, a Timely Maneuver. We also pick up 4 block next turn from that Timely Maneuver. And we play follow-up at the end of the turn there. Welcome, enemies. Welcome. I can probably just purge and play sidestep at the end of this turn, so let's get aggressive. Sweet kick. Combination strike. Ooh, careful of that. Can't afford it. Timely mover would be nice next turn, though. Mm, well, maybe it's nice this hand. First attack applies week one. Apply that to the enemy that's about to damage us for, s for a lot. I was going to say 70. The number was actually 20. <laughs> I don't know how, how those went wrong. Up in the old noggin, but uh, they did. Let me defend. I don't know how I would really defend against that. I've said that a couple times prior, but... Damned if don't made it. Um, let's purge Furious Assault because I know I'm not using that this turn. Got to start with the Cautious Blow. Again, sidestep. It's, it's becoming a concern. Look at that. Repeating deflection. Gosh. 
I guess that's the best I can do. Well, unless I drew Mirror Guard specifically. But even then, I wouldn't be able to play it. So, repeating deflection, deflection. And then it'd be purge the combination strike to play sidestep for two more block. At least we're fully blocked for the next turn. If I'm not going to perfect this fight, and I know I'm full healing after it anyway, there's probably no reason for me to use my spell here. And when I say probably, what I mean is there is no reason for me to play my spell here. Just definitely. Let's not be equivocal about the things we don't need to be equivocal about. the spirit walk in hand. The idea is that next turn I can almost certainly kill with spirit walk. Means we're going to be able to leave this fight on a ideal amount of HP. So she and you slow. There we go. We get the spell from dust as well as two upgrade points. Yeah, I just... I, I need to get more dense upgrades in this deck right now. I need cards to accomplish a lot more. You should two times. Let's um, just say individual cards to accomplish a lot more. Rinse and repeat. Recur the top card. It's good. It's quite good. It's just... God, it's so... Uh, I want Stoicism upgraded, and I'm going to upgrade Rinse and Repeat as well. I'm actually going to take two Lashing Kicks out of this deck. We've got decent attacks in here already. Rinse and Repeat, Stoicism. Stoicism would not be a bad card to pick up the Blue Void Stone. It's already drawing a card, so it'll have a lot of cards to choose from for its discard, and it'll probably be able to find something uh, worthy of a discard. Okay, we've also got two red void stones still left. I would not be surprised to just put the red void stone straight into a repeating deflection or something like that. It's not that, not that bad. Um, I'm still not going to do it just yet, though. That Furious Assault is also, like... Its damage is okay, but it's nowhere near enough. And so all she to the target. Let's put reconciliation in there and just, just, just play with it for a bit. Let's have a look at the map here too. Calculated. Future Strike now triggers every third turn instead, and you apply vulnerable to all enemies each turn. Um, uh, the thing is, like, I do want it to trigger often. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Mind Matter, uh, sorry, Mind Shatter deals 10 she, and then if it's solo, uh, targets the only creature remaining on the board, it deals half damage equal, to, or, or uh, damage equal to half the enemy's she. Exhale. This makes a lot of sense, right? We've finally found a card that does a low amount of she a high amount of times because this is going to scale quite well with our, uh, our, the thing that it is. Uh, it scales with the, 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 you know, uh, the, the fatigue. There we go. Found the word eventually. It's in there somewhere. Reflect. Oh my god, this can be purged to gain an energy. It also has Echo Wall Chain. We're going to get Reflect and put that in the deck. Clicky, clicky. Concentrate, gain to energy. It's one of, if not... Well, it's a, it's a big claim to say one of, if not the best card right here, but... Mm, damned if it doesn't look pretty damn good. Uh, down here, we see a lot of other things we've seen previously, as well as a Timeless. This turn, all Future Strike dealt will be converted to She. The upgrade is will be dealt additionally as She. Getting a two-cost card in and amongst a turn where you do a bunch of Future Strike is a little bit hard, but God, if that's not a payoff. There's also a Readied Reprisal down here, Delayed Block for 30, and Echo Wall 1. There's an Opposing Force and Deliberate. We've seen Opposing Force previously. Um, and Deliberate. 
deal eight Shi two times. If this is cast in Zen, gain block six. Upgrades to seven Shi three times and block nine. I'll put that on the path if I can get it. Ooh. Here's the red reprisal. Trance. Trance is an interesting one as well, by the way, with uh, follow-up and Zen. In fact, no, it doesn't upgrade to get another. Um, so it'll trigger follow-up if it's in chain, but it'll trigger follow-up as well as Zen if it's in Zen. So it's just a way to get quite a decent amount of Shi out. But also it is three instances of Shi, each of them increased by the fatigue. Calculate. Oh no. Okay, so the two elites are mutually exclusive unless... Oh, I don't care too much about Deliberate. Unless I approach from the bottom side. So here's how that would look. We have to avoid this cursed item, which is annoying. And this soul collector. God, that's actually that actually might kill it. That might kill the plan. Mind Shatter is nice, but is it as nice as that? The Dark Idol can give us artifacts for our devotion. That is a way to spend some soul. Maybe. Maybe. So the rest of the scaffold would be that, 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 that. And then we get to this point, probably take that treasure, then go wait for it down to the reflect, cut up across to the class trainer. And then if I wanted to still remove the void at the end, I could go up here. Oh, which annoyingly would take that path, annoy uh, uh, removing our ability to get the concentrate. Hmm. I don't love the Dark Idol. Lisa loves the Dark Idol. No, I don't. Millhouse loves Lisa. Uh, What if we did this, right? Let's invalidate the previous path. So it's hopping across the top of these. Not... I don't love that. Let's get that treasure. We could visit this empty room if we go across and down and then back up instead and remove something from the shrine. I don't know. I'm not super enthused about that option either. Uh, so to be cutting across the top up here, getting calculated, getting this cursed item, taking the cursed item almost certainly, getting a second curse, uh, a second void, uh, being able to remove those later on at the shrines. That is the target. Then we've got the soul collector in between. Reflect would have to be one of the cards that I would ignore here. Because if we ignore Reflect, then I can jump all the way up here, getting myself the mob room for an upgrade, getting a treasure, possibly upgrades as well, uh, getting a stone smith, where I will have the ability to spend some of my essence. Not all of it, though, mind, because then we also have a merchant at the very end. We cut across down here, and then leave. This, this feels a lot more value dense. Yes, I miss out on one elite. And I miss out on the Dark Idol, but I pick up the Cursed Item and I pick up the Soul Collector. I get a lot more control of what I get. Well, not necessarily from the Cursed Item, right? The Dark Idol. Yeah, that's... Okay, the argument isn't great, but I'm pretty sure it's correct. <laughs> uh, from Dust, by the by, is the ability that we just got in the last area. Deal 14 damage. Slay. Triggers if you kill an enemy with this card, or ability in this instance. Heal 5, and if you are at full HP, block 5. It's not bad, but I have enough she in the deck at the moment that leverage is probably consistently better for us. Oh, wait a second. Wait, if I am doing this, what we actually do is don't go to this space and then cut down and go up. Because if I block myself in this corner, nice, I can get another item upgrade as a result of that. And I also get a card that I prefer in trance over the ready reprisal there. Berserker, Rune Priest, and the Runic Pillar. These creatures will get stronger for every zero-cost card we play and have the ability to gain high amounts of fortitude. Hmm. Hmm. 
Shouldn't play too many of those sidesteps. The Berserker gains one frenzy before each natural, sorry, for each natural, that is to say before modifiers, zero cost card played. Uh, at the end of his turn, he will reduce his frenzy to two and gain AP equal to the frenzy lost. So, not playing it this turn even. Stoicism. And I want to back in time. The stoicism first, just in case I get a... Mm, exactly just in case of that. Let's get some delayed block for the next turn, and then purge a attack to get delayed block for the next turn, and then purge another attack to play back in time. Purge one more attack. We get really well set up on that first turn. We're quite well defended for next turn going as well. And we get four Shi across all enemies. Uh, so focusing on the enemies here just for a second, we've got the Runic Pillar here that has engraved. It will double all fortitude gained and enhance uh, all bleed damage applied to it. The enemies are crippling us, taunting us, and applying hex. I'm not going to go through every single one of their intents. Uh, they are written directly on the screen. Any of the times there is a new keyword, I will go through that one, though. Um... Uh, I just, I, I cannot read all of the, all of the things out, otherwise it'll take a bit long. So I'm bringing attention to the most important ones as I can see. Spirit Wall. Mm -hmm. Recur the top card, overcharge one. Wow. That's a really good way to get Spirit Wall back in hand, actually. Is that going to be good enough, though? So what is my plan? I purge, duck, and weave. I spirit walk once. I lash and kick two times. Uh, no, I probably don't play lash and kicks at all. Just spirit walk two times. Or three times, rather, in a row. And then rinse and repeat to put it back atop the deck. I like, I like that. I like that. Uh, so how does that work? That works by going Spirit Walk, Purge, 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 Spirit Walk, Spirit Walk, and then we rinse and repeat to Yeah, I would have needed to purge both of the lashing kicks before I played the first spirit walk. But then I also would have needed to purge the the duck and weave before it as well. Purging puts it to the discard pile, obviously, so that that's that's what happened there. I forgot. Whoops. Thank you much, Lee, for the incoming damage. The Berserker, by the by, is not actually going to end the combat, so... We should try and... Get more done. Uh, instead of triggering, the next card will be sent to your discard and not played. Let's play Sidestep, which doesn't play, so it doesn't increase the value of the Berserker up there, thankfully. Spirit Essence is going to be great next turn. That Berserker actually dies this turn if I use Mirror Guard. And they die before the start of the next round, which means that new enemies will be summoned. I don't want that if I can avoid it. But I don't know if I can avoid it. So if I put all of the she just on you with reconciliation, you would get seven, seven, fifty-nine, so fourteen, fifty-nine, so thirteen, sixty, so seventy-three. Uh it I think it'll be increased one by fatigue, so seventy-four, and then a hundred percent of that will split out to the other two targets on the board. Well, actually that plus spirit essence might get the kill. Let's try. 
Right? And then I do Spirit Essence over here. 51. Half that. Rune Priest. Kill. Dominoes. You feel like an absolute genius when one of those works, by the by. Just in case you were wondering. Uh, look. Reconciliation being able to purge to give two she to all enemies, which does still increase with fatigue. It's good. Is it enough to take it? Or do I want to get more dense defenses and things like that? God. I'm so focused on our defense right now because I know that this floor will test it. And I know if I am uh, found wanting, I am going to be found dead <laughs> shortly thereafter. The Goat, the Vulture, and the Game. They're a group of strong enemies where the kill order is importante. So the Goat, over here on the left-hand side, is going to be doing debuffs and buffing. Uh, the Vulture has enraged attack, plus one frenzy, and then attack. And then the Game over here has the six damage by itself. It's got multi-strike. It's, you know, damage. Uh, Feast on the Flesh. At the start of its turn, if your threat is not zero, the Vulture will gain one AP at the start of its turn. Uh, there's also Game, who has Prey on the Weak. Whenever an Affliction card is drawn, that will gain to AP. Ooh, Spirit Walking Opening Hand, eh? God, that looks good. All right, you Stoicism. I will drop a Persist. Use a sidestep and repeating deflection. Defend myself for a decent amount next turn. We'll definitely play back in time. So that when I slow this enemy, we get... Oh, do I want to slow them? See, they're attacking us this turn. An echo wall will actually deal damage to them for the attempt. So I don't want to slow or weaken then this turn. In fact, I'll focus on you instead. Purge card and leave myself with Spirit Walk. Single player Spirit Walk next turn already gives us... Nice. Uh, already gives us some full defense. It's a Scarter card. It's going to be the Reconciliation, right? Swift Kick Spirit Essence actually already gets us in the form as well. So I do need to try and target to get them all down at the same time, if possible. May not be, though. Leaves us with a mirror guard for the next turn. We already know mirror guard is going to be enough next turn too. The game is hiding, by the way. Getting evasive cannot be the target of attack cards if there are enemies without evasive. So we're going to give it more she before that happens. But maybe I even purge mirror guard and give it more. Yup. Because now that is easy to be the final domino. The game over there can be the final domino quite simply for us. Ooh, Cautious Blow is already full defend. Let's see. In round three. Okay, so... Future Punch doesn't happen this turn. I'll weaken you, though, because you're about to damage us. Cards are left in the draw pile. Maneuver, timely mini yikes. Those aren't as aggressive as I would want. I'm 
get some energy for the next turn. This looks like uh, it's headed down a particularly disappointing path of damage. Duck and weave, rinse and repeat, duck and weave. Honestly, actually, it's probably timely maneuver, rinse and repeat, timely maneuver. Is there ever... Get more cards in here? Yeah, more cards is more good. Maneuver. Rinse and repeat. Maneuver. Reconciliation. Hmm. Maybe reconciliation is good. God, everything's good right now, apparently. So you would get up to 21, 21, 43, 64, 65 with the fatigue, 65. Uh, and then that splits. I don't know if it's evenly necessarily. I think it is evenly uh, against the enemy, 65. So what, 32 to each? Um, and then you die to being blown up. You don't die to anything. So it's a problem. It's not a problem. As long as we do it on the target there. I didn't think I was going to be able to do that because that target was... Uh, yeah, it's round four. We could. Um, I didn't think I was going to be able to do it there because that target was evasive. But they are evasive against attacks, not against abilities. I'm almost certain this is lethal right now, right? Even without that final tag at the end there. Just because of the she being shared across. Speaking of, also, let's get that reconciliation upgrade. In the first cycle, a lot of the time, I'm going to be throwing it. Prophesized. Deal to she a number of times equal to nine minus this energy card's cost. This card's energy cost, sorry. Hmm. Okay, here's what's annoying about this. This is a card that you give foresight to. I do desperately not want to foresight it. However, if we had have gotten the more expensive relic from the Soul Merchant last time, we could have taken this and it would have been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I mean, look, we can upgrade it to reduce its cost. And then try and play it when we're in Zen exclusively. So what, we played in Zen, it deals two she eight times. Uh, so that's 16. Uh, we probably play it after turn two, hopefully. We can even hold it for it. So instead of being 16, it goes to what, three by eight, 24, 24 for one. 24 for one is okay, but 24 for one that is that conditional, it's pretty hard. Another swift kick, not entirely against it. We do have a lot of dense, high cost stuff in the deck. And draw, I'll take it. Chosen Champion, Lost Spirit, Dark Courtesan, and the Unholy King. We've seen the fight prior. Is it timeless? I don't think I'm going to use any potions for this one. I hope that was the right decision. God, this is an interesting one. We use Stoicism. I'll discard Persistence? Is Stoicism going to go into this card pile first, or Persistence? Guess we'll find out. Rinse and repeat. It actually gave us Stoicism. I did not think I was going to get Stoicism back after that, frankly. I was... Damn, they're almost certain of it. Alright, let's get it back in time out on the board. There's a lot of Future Strike you intend to do right there, bud. I want to keep Stoicism for the next turn, too. Hmm. 
Let's focus on the Chosen Champion first. I apply weak this turn with the first thing to hit, so there's your weak. Do I want more damage out? Do I want to draw a card? Uh, probably more damage to be real. Set us up better for later. We'll keep Stoicism. Between that and Sidestep, we're already pretty close. Nice. Timely Maneuver. I mean, I do want Block next turn, which means I'm probably holding on to Mirror Guard. So I'm playing Sidestep, Duck and Weave, Stoicism this turn, dropping Timely Maneuver. Mm. Duck and Weave can drop the Void from my draw pile, though, which makes it very appealing. Sidestep. Let's duck and weave to drop void first. Then stoicism. And drop the careful advance there too. And purge reconciliation almost certainly here. Enemies don't have enough she to make it worthwhile. Lash. I want to lash out again. Oh, yeah. Nice. Actually kill it before it inflicts any damage on us. Unfortunately, the Unholy King is the one really doing the damage this turn. That's uh, logistics. Not my department. I'm R&D. Spirit War, okay. A lot of my fights have been about when can I use Spirit Walk. There's a good reason for that. Spirit Walk's good. Can I use it this turn that well? So this turn would be Spirit Walk, Spirit Essence. Then Spirit Walk. So two copies of Spirit Walk. Eight has been blocked by that. Uh... So after that, I've still 13 that I need to block. Hmm. Probably keep Mirror Guard and cut my turn short a little. Spirits walk. Yeah, it's Mirror Guard, Purge Maneuver, Spirit Walk almost certainly, right? Some damage this turn too. Just make the kill on this turn a lot easier. And it's also crucial, so I really hope we get it. Uh... Can we do it? I think we can. I should probably try and calculate it just in case, because if we fail this, we... Well, don't die, but... Might as well. I'm pretty sure. And no, I did not calculate. So that sets up the kill on you. Okay. 
and they set up the kill on the king. Nice. This, this is a great class for introducing the threat mechanic as well, by the by, because that was damage on the board that I got to run away from at the very end. Timeless. God, I really want to be able to put Timeless in this deck too. Oof. Uh, that said, I did draft a sweet kick. I want to make sure that I get both these sweet kicks in the deck. Everyone knows that I'm a sneak ahead. I'm probably the furthest from a sneak ahead that could legitimately exist, actually. I... <laughs> uh... I have worn Chuck Taylors for the last 12 years? And not even just like, oh, you know, just converse broadly. No, no, no. Chuck Taylor All-Stars exclusively. <laughs> Vast majority of them just a high top canvas. I've once or twice had one that has a little bit more of a kind of design trim to it kind of situation, but they're all still the exact same base shoe. I made one decision 17 years ago and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna carry that forward. It can't be 17, it's like 15, something like that, right? Um, I'm 27 now. I would have chosen that about 15, 12, yeah. I made one decision 12 years ago and I've stuck to it ever since. Dragon Mother. Inflicts burning and vulnerable, and limits the amount of block that can be gained from any individual source. Uh, it is vulnerable to me. Uh, so I got 12 threat next turn to deal with. Interesting. I'm going to repeat into Flexion. We can only get 6 from that because the Dragon Mother limits your block gained from any card at a maximum of 6. However, I'm going to rinse and repeat. Do it again. Oh, that reconciliation that was not like, necessary. I'm playing it back in time. Set ourselves off with the whole next hand. Hell yeah. Okay. I'm probably going to want to hold a mirror guard. Ooh, I can't hold a mirror guard for next turn. If I could play it this turn and it gave us value, maybe, but doesn't. So I just need to make sure the enemy goes weak this turn. Okay. Give him a combo strike. Oh, spirit walk next turn is really good. Give you a swift kick. And then a Spirit Essence afterwards for the weakened. So incoming damage is now only 24. A large amount of that is due to the burning that we have as well, by the way. Um, burning is reduced by purging cards. I don't really want to purge that many cards. If I could avoid it. 24, good gosh. Probably purging stoicism here. So weaken as well as block. It's the ideal card right now. So what, I spirit walk, purge two cards, use one more spirit walk this turn? Like, is that really? Really seems like how we play this turn, it does. Dang. Enemies are already weakened. I feel like I'm gonna spend enough time here that I definitely should have played Ledbridge at the start. Swift kick that timely mirror in it. Um, I'm gonna purge persist. Lay a sidestep into. I wanna duck and weave past the swift kick.
No, because I'm drawing both of the cards this turn anyway. Repeating deflection into maneuver. Drawing us all the way down to here. This is now a weak. Because of the first attack in Zen. Inflicting weak. And then the duck and weave is played. Now this is something that I like so much. I had an empty draw pile. Duck and weave sifts a card from the draw pile and discards it. However, on discarding a card from an empty draw pile, it recycles and gives you a new draw pile to discard from. I'm so happy about that. It makes the mechanics so much more usable. Uh, I'm gonna drop the persist as well, by the way. By the by is apparently the words of the day, or are the words of the day. By is one of the words of the day. Often is with me. And the is at least a third of the word of the day here. Hell, let's make by the word for the month instead. At least on my side. Hmm, Kepler Dance and swiftly kick him. I like it. Carefully advance, let's swiftly kick. Couple times over. Mirror guard, rinse, repeat. Sidestep, mirror guard, rinse and repeat. I think I purge? Yeah, let's get as much energy as we can next turn. And some combination strike. That's the end of the fight, right? I'm pretty well certain of it. Okay. Cut across to another stoicism. I may not end up putting this in the deck. 20% of your max HP? Sure. Let's get a health potion involved in this fight. Oh, I shouldn't use the health potion until I desperately need it. Hmm. Ideally, I want to get every card out of hand here so the unholy creations aren't the worst. Unfortunately, I don't have enough energy to do that. God, I kind of want to get rid of the void instead of back in time. I could leave back in time in hand and play it on a later turn. When am I going to find the time to play back in time on a later turn than this? Uh, but it is so much damage. It's contributed so much to us, even if it doesn't necessarily look like it. If it doesn't look like it, it's because we haven't been looking closely. That's the only reason why. I can't. Can't bring myself to it. We know Reconciliation isn't for this turn, so that's an easy purge. I slow one to the target, eh? Careful Advance should be upgraded as well. 6 she 3 times is 18, 7 she 2 times is 14, but this increases 3 damage with each Fatigue. Also, it's just, it's one of the cards that I always play, so an increase of... Uh, wait, really? 6 by 3, 18, 14. Yeah, an increase of 4 damage to it is okay, but it's it's significantly less than I actually had ballparked in my head. Let's... Combo strike there too. Oh, Spirit Essence, that was the worst. 
That was the worst order of uh, cards to play as well by the way. The way by the way is what I was going to say. Uh, I may actually just want to kill a bunch of unholy creations to get this enemy down. Unholy. So I'm going to leave with three cards unplayed. Those three cards will give you three more fatigue, getting into 30. Sorry, I'll, play, I'll leave with two unplayed. Which means you are exactly one still alive. Hmm. Unless I kick you. But I was going to kick you so that I could get the weaken off. On the target that's actually going to be attacking. Which I guess means I don't play sidestep now. Right? We have three left in the Zen state. You have three health remaining. And the... Sapphire Sloth will give you the damage for it. That was a good turn. Ooh, Spirit Walk. Spirit Walk does just need to be used in the most absurd hand I can get it in. That hand's coming up later. That hand is not this hand. But I also don't want to leave it too long. Let's... Sidestep to begin. Use Stoicism. You're actually kidding me, right? Oh, that's so rude. Prince and repeat. Source system back. And I'm probably going to purge all of these just to play the spirit walk four times. Seems good to me. Anything else I need to do? Yes. What we actually do is purge one, play Spirit Walk, then Stoicism, then we play the rest of the turn after that, getting a Spirit Walk guaranteed for our next hand too. Spirit Walk there. Stoicism. Stoicism is not the return card, Ryan. I... I'm a dummy. All oh, right, that's not even destroyed yet, so. Ouch. I don't think I'm killing this turn. Which means I need to find a way to defend this turn. I'm gonna purge combo strike and persist so that I can play a sidestep into timely maneuver into stoicism. I guess I should probably discard the one that's already free. Draw some defense of some kind, please. Oh my god, it's exactly the right defend card. Blocks for the five this turn, gives us eight towards our next turn as well. Thank you. Um, you should still probably be the target for the lashing kick here. It's a lot of extra damage with the, the future strike. 16 on him. So at some point I clearly gave up my plan of, you know, killing. Uh-oh. I can't get rid of the Bane in hand.
Yeah, that doesn't kill you right now. But it'll kill you next turn before you deal damage to me. And after I kill you, isn't the fight ended? I don't know, it might not be. In which case, my previous turn was probably not, uh, how you say, advisable. Wait a second. What's the top card of this discard? Oh, it's Bane, obviously. I'm not going to be able to rinse and repeat to get it back. It's, it's, it's definitely <laughs> on everyone. Uh, we set up the pins and then we knock them down. All right, here's an elite fight. Uh, I've also got some void stones now. I've got a void stone in particular that definitely wants to be in the deck somewhere. Doesn't really matter too much. It doesn't matter where it is, but it's still, it's good. Uh, where are you? card I'm looking for is Rinse and Repeat. It'll now give us two overcharge, two turns of an extra energy. Two overcharge is so much better than one overcharge. Cautious Blow. Assist. Spirit Essence. Spirit Essence is often used in the setup, and it's used in the setup for a very powerful turn. Alright, you know what? Uh, wait, no, I'm currently making a Void Stone. I'm not... I don't have time to get to that void stone, I don't think. God, fine. The swift kicks will get him. I'm going to come to regret that. And this is going to be the moment that I remember as soon as I've decided that it's regret time. I'm going to remember exactly this moment and go, no, wait a second. I just had another moment of regret as I reached over for my coffee and I was like, wait a second. I've been too engrossed. It's been two hours since I've last had a sip of this coffee, and it is now extraordinarily cold. I'm totally okay with that. At the start of each turn, draw two extra cards. Gain two less energy at the start of your turn. At the start of each fight, lose an energy and choose a card from your deck to add to your hand. I... I oh. Drinking alcohol is really good here, right? Just get past our garbage cards more consistently. Yeah. I'm also going to mirror something that was said in the comments as well. I like that it's called drinking alcohol as opposed to... Because we we have, like, you know, uh, medical alcohol or, or cleaning alcohol and those kinds of things. And then it's just assumed by default, I guess, outside of laboratories to be drinking. But here? No, it's drinking alcohol. The rest of it's for patching up the wounds that we're about to give this hack. Speaking of, by the way, how are we going to do that? When I play an attack before it triggers, I suffer eight threat. Uh, sorry, six threat. Uh, every time I draw a Bane, the enemy increases their friends by one. I'm going to throw a side step because I didn't have an opener in hand. Use a stoicism. No incoming damage next turn. I'll drop a repeating deflection with the Stoicism. I'll even drop Mirror Guard to play Maneuver. Get another card in hand. That's energy. <gasps> Ooh, do I just go mad with Spirit Walk on the first turn? It's more likely than you think. I'm still not going to do it, but it is more likely than you thought it was. Huh. Figured I was going to be able to defend after the fact, but didn't count on not drawing. Ghost block wall, it's fine. Well, that's totally my bad. I didn't need to take that damage at all. Oops. Hmm. 
Swift kick two times this turn before spirit walk. The only thing is I really need to be able to defend afterwards. I can't just... Can't just take infinite damage to the enemy there. Reconciliation, definitely. What hand's going to be better at doing this, though? Applying Hex. Uh, first card played next turn will not trigger. That's fine. First card next turn will be Sidestep. So I gain no energy each turn right now. Fine. I'm going to purge these two. We're looking for a hand where I can defend myself after I do all of the swift kicking. I don't think it's a thing, but we'll see. Oh, no, I got too much energy. No, I got too much energy to do it. Uh. Oh, why? Gosh, why? Um. Play a persist, get it out of hand. Let's weaken the enemy and give him she. Swift kick, swift kick. Spirit walk. I'm just accepting some damage this turn. I need to do some damage. I gotta accept some damage to do some damage right now. Unless... We use Untimely Maneuver, Rinse and Repeat to gain that back. Got two more casts this turn. Urge Cautious Blow, one more Spirit Walk, and then a Timely Maneuver thereafter. Full block this turn. Not a full block next turn. But it's getting there. This one's difficult too, because I want to have the ability to block after the turn as well. Actually, you know what? No, I think I have to go for lethal this turn. I don't have that many more turns on the board, and my draw pile has more banes in it. I think I do actually. Yeah, I'm going to purge the duck and weave and the maneuver. Right? Need one more space in hand. So ideally, this turn is open with Cautious Blow before transitioning into a Combination Strike and Swift Kick. And that is four energy that is required there to do that. Maybe I'm defending this turn. I'm just saving until next turn. So just getting some extra energy at the start of this turn. Fine. Do I use a repeating deflection though? No, I purge. Okay. How we intend to play this is gonna come very clear next turn. I wish I got Spirit Walk, but it's okay. Actually, that might even be better. It is... Curious Blow to open the fight. Two Swift Kicks thereafter. We use a Spirit Essence and Rinse and Repeat to bring the Spirit Essence back, giving us another energy when we play it. So we already have the enemy dead right now. It's just how well I can defend myself. Not much of my draw is defense. How much of it is it lethal? That's lethal. That's lethal. That's at least continue. That could probably try and find lethal. All right. There it is. 
There it is. Now we've got a couple quick rooms in a row. Uh, every fourth time you gain rage, gain twice the amount. I'm actually pretty disappointed by that. I don't gain rage often enough to really utilize this effectively. My map does still have the shrine on the path. So I'm going to drain the item, getting a void card and eight souls. So I've got more souls to spend here. <laughs> Stoic mask. Whenever you enter draw, whenever you enter, then draw one. Incredible. Uh, each time you fill the void stone bar, heal 15 HP. We're not going to do that again, unfortunately. Uh, deal she to enemies equal to the damage dealt by Echo Wall. That's actually also quite good for us. We'll take the Stoic Mask. But do I want a random artifact? Or do I want a Phantom Spike and a Yellow Void Stone? Phantom Spike and a Yellow Void Stone almost certainly, right? Right? <laughs> we can have what's in the box, which might even be a Phantom Spike. With That'd be really good for us. Excuse me. Uh, Book of Arcane Secrets increases your max energy by one at the start of every turn. You gain additional energy. That is probably one of the best things that we could have gotten from there. I'm so glad I didn't go for the other option. I was actually setting myself up to get punked there and to get something low value and be like, oh, dang, that kind of thing, you know? Um, setting up commentary fodder for myself. Uh, and then I got double punked by the game by it actually not punking me. That was actually uh, what they did for the whole final season of Ashton Kutcher's Punked. He just sat at home. It was the final season that was recorded in 2020. He just sat at home and just said punked softly into a microphone. He punked people by not punking them when they expected to be punked. He uh, sent out... <laughs> he sent out... Uh, uh, what, what is it? Uh, use of image forms to a bunch of people and signed them Ashton. And then the the postmark on them said from Punked LLC, which I'm just assuming it's a limited liability corporation for some reason. It's almost certainly not. Uh, it said Punked LLC on it. Everyone was assuming that something was going to happen. Nothing did. Punked. We've got the Roting Gut Fiend over here, as well as the Flesh Beast and the Exalted Dwarf. Hmm. We can do this. Easily, in fact. So we've got 30 incoming next turn, and I... Oh! I'm one turn off being able to make everyone weak here. God, that's rough. Yikes. Yikes. I should probably use the duck and weave instead of maneuver here just to reduce the voids in the draw pile. So that would be sidestep, duck and weave. Oh no! That'll discard void and then void will be the top card. Wait, hang on, no. Perfect. It worked out in the end. I thought it wasn't for some, for some reason, but it, it, it did work out in the end, so it's fine. It, 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 it didn't not, so it, it worked out. Uh, we don't have the ability to get enemies taking she equal to the damage they take to the Echo Wall. God, that would be good right now. But I'll settle for my max energy plus one and additional energy every single turn. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Probably going to hold the mirror guard for the next turn of guess. So we're definitely going to play back in time. And the Exalted Warrior can never gain Frenzy. Am I getting really repeating deflection here, maybe? Swift Kick into Combination Strike. It's not bad. We'll weaken you. I guess we'll also combo strike you. Or I could just get more energy for the next turn by purging the combo uh, combo strike. Actually? Yeah. Because what? I'm going to draw a card that I can't play and then purge that. Why not just purge that card instead? Draw more cards next turn and have more energy. Because what we're really doing... There we go. He's looking for a turn to play this uh, 
spirit walk. A spirited card through and through. So he's in the draw pile. Cool. Uh, we're definitely going to be purging reconciliation here. Fight's not getting long enough for us to use reconciliation consistently. That is a good thing. That is a marker that we're doing okay. You're going to give one frenzy to everyone? So I should apply my weak over here then, definitely. Then I'll use a combination strike follow-up. Burn stoicism out of hand. So that I can play careful advance. Nice. Drawing two cards. We drew one because of the prayer beads. And then the second one because of the whole... Uh, Stoic Mask. And this feeds us so much energy for the sake of the Spirit Walk. One time. Okay, I can't play it enough times to full defend. But it's not that far. Right? It'd just be four more. But I'm probably purging persistent and playing Mirror Guard. Actually, every card that I could draw could be purged. So why not play persist and then purge the card that I draw? Because I wouldn't draw a card because none of the enemies have fatigue yet, because it's round two, and the end of round two is when they get the fatigue. Oh, I really wish I had a fatigue on him. Uh, okay, purge consists. Block with a mirror guard. I'm good. Hmm. Okay, so we're definitely starting out with aggression chain this turn. Spirit Walk is in hand, so I'm tempted. You know I'm tempted, but gosh, it's hard to do. Let's purge Timely Maneuver, definitely. Let's weaken you. I think I can full defend here with the correct order. So I think the correct order is Swift Kick, then Lashing Kick. Right, we draw a card. Then I have this costing one. We purge Combination Strike. We're already in Zen, so then I play Sidestep, getting two block from it. And then I play a Spirit Walk. And then I purge the card that I drew and play a spirit walk. Unless I draw the void, that's that's a plan to That's a plan to do it. Alright. Send him at him. So rinse and repeat right now would return a lashing kick. Also gives us two overcharge. That's worth noting. Purge the combination strike, play the sidestep. Okay, and then it's spirit walk, lashing kick, spirit walk. We did it. We made our way downtown. We walked fast, faces past. We're home now. I know those aren't the lyrics, it's slightly just for you can. Alright, this one's harder though. Mm. Wasted a lot of good she on you. Mm. It's 
round four as well. The Exalted Warrior wants to blow up. I might be projecting that. I definitely want them to blow up at the absolute least. I could see sidestep stoicism trying to open this turn to get extra energy out of the spirit water. Spirit for uh, essence, rather. Am I purging reconciliation then so that I get more block out of the sidestep before I play it? I think so. Nice. Mirror Guard's a good draw there. Um, I'll also drop a daze because discarding these cards, because they're volatile, whenever they're discarded, they're destroyed. So they're really good fodder to just discard a card without actually losing a good card. A worthwhile card. <sighs> Speaking of worthwhile cards. Few far between here right now, evidently. Um... Swift kick you. Spirit of Sense you. Got 30 incoming next turn as well is the thing, so I have to worry about that too. Let's maneuver. I want to play one of those, purge one, and then play the void out. Actually, it might be time to leverage instead. Yeah, yeah, it's time for leverage. I wish it wasn't, but it is. That doesn't even significantly decrease the damage we're taking next turn, though. Ugh. We have Duck and Weave, we're all good. Persist, Combination Strike also available for us. If I could end this fight without having to trigger Prayer Beads, that'd be really good. Because then I'll have an extra draw on my first next fight. And actually, when we draw Reconciliation, that'll win already. Strike and apply that slow to you. Use Duck and Weave to just, like, straight up purge a card from the deck. I don't want to remove as many of these from hand as possible, right? I'm drawing seven cards per turn. get to the right card, but thankfully we have a lot of other good cards in this deck. Oh, Spirit Walk will do it though. Spirit Walk always does it. Good work. I'm so glad I took that Spirit Walk earlier on. I don't know where I'd be without it. Our defense is getting pretty heavily tested right now. Let's get Duck and Weave upgraded. It's a very, very dense upgrade right there. Alright, Treasure. Echoes of the Past. Add two copies of a card from the discard to the top of the deck. It expels. Uh, deal two Future Strike four times, and then also deal seven She. Upgrades to two, five, and seven. This echoes. Echoes of the Past upgrades the card that you uh, do that with. Uh, deal two Future Strike a single time. Deal two She, block three, and delay block three. It does everything. Upgrades to just add a number to everything except the amount of Future Strike uh, hits. Um. Union. The weird thing about Union is, like, Future Strike, you want to have a, a high amount, sorry, a high uh, individual number on the Future Strike, uh, so that then the fatigue hitting for an extra time does more. 
And then for she, you want to have many applications, but a small amount. This is the complete inverse of that. It's effective. It's, it's statistically quite effective. Just don't know if I want to take it. Um, I'm going to take Jack of All. I just like its, uh, its attitude, frankly. Do I want calculated upgraded? Do I want deliberate in this deck? Probably not. Probably not deliberate. That is a card that you definitely want a foresight. It's pretty hard for me to work foresight back into this deck. Get clarity rigged? Hmm. There's one way to get Foresight back into this deck, and that's upgrading Clarity, having Clarity rigged, right? So it's the opening hand. Uh, we get a Void Stone from here. We get another green Void Stone, giving us the ability to give a different card rigged. And we rig... Oh, no, wait, we can't do that. Ah, dang. I was going to say, and then we use the rig to get... Uh, rinse and repeat back atop the deck. So I would foresight something, rinse and repeat, gain two overcharge, and then foresight something again. I've used three energy. I've also gotten myself into Zen. I've only expended two of the cards in my hand. I draw a card from the ability. So I'm now six cards in hand, zero energy. I, I got like free rain with my first turn after that. Um, and I've got two cards in the draw pile that are now zero cost. Uh, especially if the three costs were still in there, that'd be pretty good. But I, I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't want to do that. Timeless. This turn, all future strength dealt will additionally be dealt as she. The thing is, additionally dealt as she, I don't do a huge amount of future strike. That's, I think, quite fair to say. However, if I ever slow the enemy, um, and they've got fatigue, I'm doing 16 to them instantly. So what, I paid two to do 16? Unless I'm doing a bunch of other future strike on that turn? God, I am not a future strike deck. I am a she deck through and through. Damned if I'm not okay with that, though. Calculated. Are you the upgrade calculated? Future Strike now triggers every third turn, but all enemies get vulnerable. So they take 50% more damage to it, but they don't take 50% more damage to uh, to she, because she is not damage. If I played this on turn three, it would actually trigger the future strike that turn, but it wouldn't apply the vulnerability. And the vulnerability is the big reason to actually take this. But again, if I'm not really a future strike deck, am I? God, oh, am I? Ashing kick, combination strike, combination strike. The thing is, those are like actually some of the weakest cards in the deck right now. God, we are not a future strike deck. We are a she deck through and through. I just need to go back and focus on she. I I need to uh, re uh, reorient myself here. I have to purge cards for energy, so having a purge card that gives block four, it's decent. God, I'm spending way too much time here, aren't I? Yeah, I am. Maybe it's stoicism. Right? 
I don't really use Echo Wall hugely well. But a card that draws. Card that draws is a card that draws, and a card that draws is good. Screw it, I'm doing trance. <laughs> After all of that consideration, I'm going to take the one that I did not even think about. All right, Stonesmith, what do you got for us? A yellow or a blue, or I could reroll. Look, I'm looking for black, ideally. I could put yellow basically on anything, and no matter what it goes on, I'd be fine with it. Just, just yeah, okay, whatever. That kind of fine with it. I don't need to discard cards as much when the voids are going to be out of the deck in a moment. I'm re-rolling. Purple and green. Hmm. Actually. I have a merchant down here. Decent amount of cards in the backpack, but no Kando. Probably not going to get that on the open turn. Timeless, don't care about that on the open turn. Maybe I take each of these. Purple Voidstone can just go wherever, frankly. Um, but the green Voidstone would just be preparation, effectively, for the upcoming shop. Do I want to spend all of my money? Purple Voidstone's actually not huge here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. Uh, opposing four, steal four, future strike two times, opening echo wall, uh, group of creatures that can limit your range. Rage, rather, they also have the ability to haunt you. Hmm. Can't be weakened. When you are destroyed, you will deal 20 damage. And while you're alive, my rage is capped. We're definitely purging reconciliation, can tell you that much for free. I mean, no one's attacking with Frenzy. The Drowned is attacking this turn, but doesn't have Frenzy, so applying slow from careful advance doesn't really matter too much. The only thing is if I play Sidestep and then Stoicism, and I don't in my next two cards draw a skill, uh, sorry, an ability, I'm gonna be pretty sad about it. As evidenced right now. I'm pretty sad about it, frankly. I would consider myself quite sad. That's okay. Ooh, that's good. We also have Haunted preventing Voidstone triggers, but I can't get that much rage anyway, so I don't really care about Swift Kicks having theirs. Prevented Zell. Uh, don't have fatigue on any enemies just yet, though. A week. So I should probably apply the week to a target. Uh, wait, you are taunting. Must be the target of attack cards. I only can target you anyway, so that simplifies our decision making quite consistently. This is uh, quite considerably rough. Rinse and repeat. Nice. Let's go. Spirit essence. Rinse and repeat. Spirit essence. The cyst isn't going to draw here. This combination's trying for a draw, though. Speaking of drawing, I'm playing Maneuver right now. Oh. Repeating Deflection. Uh, do I want to set up some defense already for the next turn? The thing is, Spirit Walk is probably going to be the majority of my defense for the next turn, so I'm just going to those. Um, do I get rid of a Void? I do want to avoid the Void, but do I want to avoid this Void? by throwing it into the void. Uh, I think that line of thinking is invalidated by the amount of defense that we can just draw. So the argument's null and void. Uh, we've got a spirit walk in hand available as one of our opening tools here, should we want it. 
What am I going to three spirit walk at this? I'm actually going to three spirit walk at the start of this turn, aren't I? Uh, oh. Spirit walk. Spirit walk. Spirit walk. The enemies aren't attacking that much, so I probably don't care about Mirror Guard. Um, I'm just going to Spirit Walk three more times, to be real with you. Spirit Walk. Spirit Walk. Spirit Walk. So I have two more available card plays here. I think I just want both to be Spirit Walk again. Yep. As it turns out, that card's good. This draws a card as well. Should keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to purge those two immediately and happily. You have to be the target of all attack. No, you're not taunting right now. Oh, you don't have to be the target of this attack card. Thank heck. Oh my god, the bloated really needs a hit there. Reducing their incoming damage. We'll take that one too. And then use a persist, because that's going to draw cards first too. In fact, a couple cards. Oh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The thing is, the reconciliation should really be used. Do I leverage before it? I don't have an elite fight coming up next or anything like that, no? I'm going to leverage before it. And then we purge combination strike, play reconciliation on the midline target. Kills all the enemies for us. Shrine of Remove to Void. Go down for an unbalancing strike, then Merchant, and we'll bounce out. Pyamite inflicts high amounts of burning, and their strength is determined by your level of burning. Thankfully, we purge a decent amount of cards now that we draw as many cards as we can, so. Could have been worse. Ooh. God, that's a good opening turn, though. So I want to have Rinse and Repeat and Spirit Essence available after I've gotten into... Uh, into Trance. In, into Zen, rather. So we purge Reconciliation. We play a Swift Kick. These are only 30% on the Pyamites, by the way. You want to get rid of the Pyre often. Yeah, it depends on the speed of your deck, and it depends on a bunch of other factors as well, so... I don't really... I don't really have the ability to say that's definitely the great way to do it all the time, you know? Um... Perfect. So here we can Spirit Essence, return the Spirit Essence, Spirit Essence. What's your offer? A Mirror Guard next turn, at the absolute least, is part of my offer. And then we can Spirit Walk once. Do I go back in time now? Hmm. When this enemy dies, reduce your burning by half. Drawn to the flame on the Pyamite. Ah, neat. We'll add to see that change. There have been a fair few changes that I've noticed over the course of this run since the last time that I've played. It's back in time now. It's back in time is so good. I want to avoid playing it. We'll play it then. That's the best way to avoid not playing it. That's damage right there. 
All right. Uh, we're going to want to sidestep. We're going to want to use the mirror guard. Probably going to want to use the burning double weave, maybe. Uh, wait a sec. We can actually fully defend with just the mirror guard and burning something before we play sidestep. But I guess that's not too important. So I should get some preemptive block for the next turn. That'd be nice. So I guess I'm purging this and this. I want to purge as many things as possible. I forgot about that. Use sidestep, mirror. Not even going to do that much damage to you, but it will do something. Which I did check. I made sure that's more than nothing. Yeah, I know. I, I ran the numbers a couple times. Combination strike instead of a timely move. Yeah, we'll drop the timely move there. Okay, so I got four more cards that I can cast there. So we get... Combination strike drops cards. Uh, flash and keep for the slow. Final card we can play. Careful advance. Yeah, she's the card I care about. Or I can try and reduce my burning more by purging two more cards. I actually really like that. Reduces the incoming damage from the next turn too. Not just by the burning. Either. Oh, this is really good. Uh, wait. Yeah, this is really good. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm recording late in the day. I don't usually record this late, so my phone is like, oh, it's 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 late. That means I can make noise again. No, you can't, phone. It's Vault of the Void time. Not phone time. Yask Mark Wozniak. Uh, Mark Wozniak. Yask. Mike Wozniak, and you might say it's skin time, but it's definitely not phone time. Let's swift kick, give him the trance, then we spirit essence, chains itself back to our hand. I didn't mess this up, right? No. We rinse and repeat, bringing it back, spirit essence again. Then I'll maneuver. Hmm. It's not going to be lethal, is it? I guess I might as well do it. There's no reason not to still. 69 threat next turn. It's a good amount. It's just not damage I want to be taking. Next turn's end is round four, it looks though. I can definitely kill the pyre this turn, it's just killing the other two. Spirit Walk is in the deck. I can draw as well. Okay, we're fine. Because you've got fatigue, so I can use you to draw. Nice. And with that draw... I can get y'all to blow each other up. Dominoes. Right. Our final merchant. When entering Zen, deal four Shi to all enemies. Is the state of mind here. Upgrades to give you purge, to give two Shi to all enemies. Uh, combination strike, chaotic blood. That's an interesting one as well. It's an opener and a follow-up, so it's just choose between the two. Oh, we've seen that one, Prime. Never mind. Flurry of Blows deal two Future Strike to a random target six times. When you purge it, instead, you deal two Future Strike to a random enemy. Three Future Strike to a random enemy six times? I'm not... Yeah, I... I don't know. I'd only really purge that, I think. Reverb. Add fatigue to all enemies equal to your Echo Wall. Reduce Echo Wall to zero. And then the upgrade applies fatigue and deals future strike to all enemies equal to Echo Wall. Which has got to be minimal, right? Because, well, I mean, this deck can generate maybe two Echo Wall maximum. Uh, may maybe there's a deck that has more Echo Wall. I do not know. It's not this one. State of mind, force you to all enemies whenever I enter Zen. I enter Zen constantly. 
But can I afford to play State of Mind on the opening turn? Very expensive. I'd only really want to play it if I was playing it on the opening turn too. Oh, wait, you upgrade to become rigged and zero cost. We could play three buffs on the opening turn to get into Zen. As long as I have another upgrade point of... I don't have another upgrade point available, do I? No, I don't necessarily have another upgrade point available. But also, I don't have anywhere else I can spend this money. So I'm going to buy the upgraded state of mind, and we'll see if we can use it. Uh, Echo will draw. Wait. No, yeah, I've only got a green. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right. Let's run into the Concentrate. Veiled Watcher, they'll go stronger as I draw out Affliction cards, which they give them uh, me themselves. They can also get Vengeful if I don't kill one, or rather if I do kill one and then don't call it. It's not okay to give me Spirit Walk in the opening turn because it makes me feel like I should do Spirit Walk in the opening turn, and I don't want to do Spirit Walk in the opening turn. Let's sidestep and Stoicism. I'm going to get rid of Persist because there's nothing in hand right now. Then I guess I'll preempt a block for the next turn. I can weaken an enemy? Twenty-one next turn. And 21 next turn. I probably just keep the spirit walk for the next turn then. So I'll purge the things that I don't need. Definitely play back in time still. Weaken an enemy with a trance. It's worth doing regardless. Slow an enemy for more hits against them. That too. I'll purge cautious. Mm. 18. 13. Eh, I can hold it. But wish I had a charge from turn one. Basically, how I thought that was going to go. I should probably hit them all with the leverage this turn, too. Let's open with a cautious blow. I think I'll use the spirit essence to get myself further across. Uh, next turn, I have a decent amount of incoming damage. I should probably hold the mirror guard if I have the ability. I'm not going to be too. Oh, no. This is zero, though. Playing this while I'm in Zen is just a bad idea. So we'll play that, then the Spirit Walk. Then we play... Oh, God. We do still want to play the Swift Kick just for the 25 range. Uh, then we play another Spirit Essence. So I've now got 50 Rage, which is why the Spirit Walk is dealing 20 damage. Careful advance, sidestep. I can't purge the sidestep. Gotta remind myself of that. Move you out to that side of the hand. Ah, the border of the card is actually demonstrating they're volatile anyway. It's interesting. Like, I knew at a glance. Uh, and then as soon as I tried to, you know, deal with it mentally, I had to realize that the cards were volatile with that border. So it was doing it subconsciously. It had succeeded in that realm, at least. Uh, careful advance, spirit walk. As many spirit walks as possible. So, any purge, careful advance, and spirit walk two times, I guess? I guess. I also do need to be able to follow up. This is a fight where I am definitely going to have to get two kills at the same time. Like, absolutely, definitely have to. 
no way around it. Um, uh, pop leverage. We probably should have popped that last turn. No, they weren't attacking. This is the right turn. Our turns are very long because obviously I've got the considerations to make, and obviously we're playing a kind of like cat and mouse game here. Reconciliation's not enough right now, but can I get it to be? I don't think so. Holding Spirit Essence and Rinse and Repeat for the next hand is pretty damned good. Um, I could see... Actually, I think I'm another play. It's purged those two. Okay, and then I sidestep into Mirror Guard. Do I play Timely Maneuver now? Yes. Does it draw us a card anyway? It increments the prayer beads. It gives me an opportunity to weaken an enemy if I want that opportunity to weaken an enemy. May not necessarily. I think I don't need. Nice. I want to keep Reconciliation if I can. Uh, I don't know. That may not have been my best turn there. <laughs> uh, not really leaving myself with energy to actually do the things in the next hand that I intend on doing in the next hand, you know? I could Swift Kick into Spirit Essence, then play Rinse and Repeat, get the Spirit Essence back, play it again. I like that. There's the spirit warp. Good. Get spirit essence back. Uh, okay. I, I just do this early, right? Yes. Two. So I need the number... Wait. You two have the lowest HP, so you're the one that would blow, I, I would blow up. So I need, ultimately, to have enough Xi on the board that... 287. I need 287 between all of these before I play the Reconciliation. I can play two more cards with Stoicism this turn. Sorry, with uh, Zen this turn. So I can get another 17 out. I can get another 34 out. Purge one card. Play two times. And then I would have to purge two cards just to play Reconciliation. So yeah, I can get a maximum of 34 more out. Uh, there's 71 as well as 68, which we know as 70 plus 69 instead. Uh, 139, 144, 204, right? 204, and I needed 280-something, so we're not getting there. Hmm, that's fine. It's still good defense this turn, if nothing else. I hope I've miscounted somehow. Wait a second. <laughs> Good news, I did miscount somehow. Bad news, it's in the wrong direction. <laughs> uh, because I can't purge sidestep. I guess I can leave reconciliation till next turn. Why would I need to play it right now? It's got some more fatigue as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Swift kick into... That's what you just strike applied. I just... I honestly just want to throw the reconciliation and see what's up. Sidestep. Let's reconciliate with you. Yeah. That's pretty much how I figured that one was going to go. 
We'll duck and weave, get a bane past us, and then the rest of it is just like, you know, warm up. In fact, that will do it. Yeah, that'll do it. We have nothing else that we need to increment or worry about. All of them at the same turn. Hell yeah. All right, concentrate. You are getting in the deck. Uh, only if I get another upgrade do I then put the rigged void on state of the mind and then upgrade no kando. Uh, but until that time... I think I probably want to get a persist out of the deck. I've never really used it too much. I've just purged it a lot of the time. Seems to be a, a, a note from me to me that maybe that's not how I want to utilize it. Could have used leverage for more HP this whole time. That was probably a good idea. Immune to all debuffs. Bleed, weak, slow. Nice. Actually, all damage and debuffs. Bleed, weak, slow, etc. I think we can still do it. Defeating the Guardian will end the fight, killing the minions. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and just go for uh, go, go for She on Black Coach and then just have that kill the other minions for me. Or end the fight, rather, instead. Well, I mean, reconciliation doesn't make any sense on turn one. The enemies aren't really attacking too much, so I don't know about the mirror this turn. Let's sidestep into a maneuver. I guess we'll repeat into deflection then. Not the way I wanted to go with that, but alas. Let's go back in time and swiftly kick you. Applying the future strike. Yeah, unless it, huh. yeah, unless it directly converts to she somehow, I don't want to do it. I should keep reminding myself of that. Uh, drop a card from here. But there's spirit walk in this hand, doesn't concentrate as well, so it's really hard to. Um, that'll apply a slow. No one really needs to be slow, but it is she damage, which is pretty good. Yeah, we'll use other things for she damage. Okay. So I'm going to purge Duck and Weave. And I want to purge that first. Because ideally this turn is Sidestep, Concentrate. Rinse and Repeat brings back Concentrate. Mm-hmm. And then as many spirits as I can walk. This spirit was made for walking. And that's just what it'll do. One of these days, this spirit's gonna walk all over you. It's doing it quite effectively in the moment. Maybe I'll just hard purge the rest of this hand. Get myself extra energy for the next time we want to do something like that. Yeah. Yeah, no bad. No incoming damage this turn either. I'm just gonna use leverage. I don't want to leave it for far too long. That's probably going to feel bad. Yeah, yeah, the incoming damage this turn is 53. I definitely should have waited. Oh, that's okay. It happens because I do it constantly. Um, let's use that on one of you, actually. Apply a week where a week appears to be needed. Throw a swift kick at you. As long as I can also get a week on this Nightmare Steed. Which it looks like I can. I really want to use Spirit Essence that way, though. No, certainly not when I can use a Lashing Kick to do it instead. So incoming damage next turn is 27. I can get 8 pre-blocked. And then I can block 17 with Mirror Guard. Sure. I'm going to purge scan a bunch of energy because I know Spirit Walk is still left in the deck and I know Spirit Essence is good with it. Hmm. I 
Honestly, this fight is just long enough that I probably should have put in the state of mind card. Okay, so do I open the turn with a careful advance? I could put slow on a target. I could put slow on a target that's actually going to be attacking as well, so... It's relevant. Alright, we'll do it then. Mm -hmm. There's the reconciliation. I do want that. Do I want it right now, though? Probably. Let's... Actually, uh, let's maneuver first. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted then. Let's... Do I even want a Spirit Essence now? Maybe I want to leave that in hand and just play the Mirror Guard. Then even purge Stoicism. Spirit Walker's in the next hand, like... Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. Spirit Walk is in the next hand. Spirit Essence is bring stuff back. We've even got Concentrate. Actually, that brings up a good point. It's probably Sidestep, Concentrate, Rinse and Repeat brings back the Concentrate, and then we go. Is it five plays of Spirit Walk? It feels like it's five plays of Spirit Walk right now. Cool. Okay. Get those. Cool. Hmm. I think I can actually get the kill this turn if I want it. It'd be that, purge these two, then play the Spirit Walk. Or I can wait until I draw Trance and leave the Prayer Beads live for later. So wait, this turn to finish off, it would have to be... Purge, purge, play spirit walk. That draws two cards. Purge, purge, play spirit walk again. Yeah, we definitely have lethal this turn if we want it. I'm not gonna try for it. We have no incoming damage next turn, so it's an extremely low risk play to just not bother. And then blow them up on that turn instead. Two upgrade points. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you so much. Uh, now... It is... No Can Do gets an upgrade. I think we probably also want to upgrade something like uh, Concentrate here. To the point that I will upgrade something almost exactly like Concentrate there. By upgrading Concentrate. Let's get State of Mind. No can do in there. State of Mind gets a rigging. Time Limit Maneuver is okay. Well, it's definitely better than Repeating Deflection. Okay. We've got a lot of potions. Oh, I got 21 cards in there? Oh, wow. I gotta get another link. I got it. Uh, I guess a base slashing kick now. We apply slow by. Not applying slow. We don't really apply slow right now. That could be a problem. From turn six onwards in the void site, start each turn with rage two, no, uh, rage fifty rather. No, when fighting void, delay block six at the start of each turn. Eh. Uh, during the void fight, every time your discard is reshuffled, heal ten percent your max HP. Eh. Uh, during the void fight, at the start of each turn, overcharge one, increase your max HP, uh, max energy rather by one. Definitely gonna want that one there. 
Death Knight, a creature who punishes you for playing block cards. His damage output can spike suddenly later in the fight. Will gain AP from your banes. Now, they say that they damage us for playing block cards, and they're not lying, but block, 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 block. The cards that say block on the bottom. So if we can generate block from non-blocking effects, obviously that's a block card too. Uh, if we can generate block from non-blocking offense, like, you know, Spirit Walk, uh, that is how we really want to defend ourselves in this upcoming combat. I think I'm going to do it. Just, 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 just do it without anything. I think I'm, I think I'm okay. Okay. Speaking of okay. Uh, we also just want dense block cards when we do play block cards. So I need five energy this turn, which means I need to purge three cards. So I guess I'm purging everything except for Mirror Guard. But if I'm purging the Concentrate anyway, why not just play it instead? It gives us an overcharge for playing it instead of not. I don't want to play the Mirror Guard if I can avoid it. Or sidestep if I can avoid it. Okay. We'll concentrate. Purge. Trance. But I really don't want to purge Spirit Essence. It's great. Oh, it's so good. Um, so each time we play a block card, we'll get two Banes. At the start of our turn, we also suffer a Vulnerable. Yeah, those Banes are how you scale as well. So if I can hold off on giving you a Bane for as long as is possible, I'll be pretty happy about it. Do I play a combination? No, I'm just going to burn it. Spirit Walk at the turns I'm looking for, really. One of the biggest things about the, uh, the drinking alcohol here is just that it gets us to the spirit, <laughs> like, a lot faster, and we are more likely to have the right cards in hand to combo with it. So the last card in our discard is Combination Strike right now. What? How is State of Mind in our discard? It's a buff. It doesn't expel? I did not know that. Ooh, that changes things. Ooh, that changes things. Ah. Oh, I see. It changes things. Uh, do I want to play two block cards here? I really don't if I can avoid it. Enemies attacking this turn, so obviously Mirror Guard makes sense. It's just I can't then really do anything thereafter. Um, 16 and come next turn. Unless... I use Rinse and Repeat before Careful Advance. Purge that. And then we Swift Kick into Combination Strike into... Oh, now I don't even need to use the Careful Advance. Thank. Thank you. Play the single Mirror Guard, as is required here. Uh, I'm hesitant to play Stoicism because I know I'm going to get down to Spirit Walk really quickly. And ideally, I don't do that. I should probably keep a careful advance in hand for the next turn, though. Well, there's state of mind again. This isn't an AoE fight, so I don't think it's particularly impactful. Block. I'm going to apply another week at the end of the turn anyway, so that's definitely a good idea. I don't care about applying the slow if... Not going to do anything just yet. Wait, that card... Excuse me? Oh, this is also just considered a block card because it has block on it by base. This is not considered a block card, despite the fact that I added some effect that is giving it block. 
It's if the card by default does block. Got it. Ducking that away up in there. Spirit. 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 Uh, I should probably get rid of the state of mind, honestly. Uh, the fight is going to be long. It's worth two plays of Spirit Walk. So it's worth 24. Uh, 26, rather. So 24 is the six multiple of that. So am I going to trigger it six more times? Probably not. Let's get rid of State of Mind. I mean, I'm definitely playing Spirit Walk again, so I know I'm already fully defended. This is currently 16 versus this 14. But this is purgeable. Giving us the ability to play this an extra time. Can't do the inverse. Uh, so I have four more card plays this turn. Purge. 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 And I'll get the careful advance out and just go full spirit walk this time. Spirit. 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 Got to get damage from somewhere. So you're also gaining Shield of Bone 5. We'll have a look when that comes up. Shield of Bone 5. Whenever you target this creature with an attack card, it will gain Fortitude equal to its Shield of Bone value. That's fine. She ignores Fortitude. Combination Strike. What's left in the draw pile? Two attacks. Not that many. I'm gonna use stoicism here. That was not what I wanted to get. Oof. Urge reconciliation. I think I could just swift kick, swift kick combination strike. Draw two cards from that. And then we've got Spirit Essence to give us energy back as well. In fact, we can even Spirit Essence, Rinse and Repeat Spirit Essence. Get a Concentrate out too. It's good. Wait, Duck and Weave, is the final card in the... No, it's not. It's Trance. I thought the final card in the deck was something that I may actually want to get rid of. Evidently, it's not. Combination Strike? I guess I could get a Combination Strike back from Rinse and Repeat right now. That would draw Trance. Do I care about drawing Trance this turn? Probably not. We revert to the in the individual plan. The original plan, rather. Thank you for all of this energy. This wealth of energy visited upon us. Cautious blow is the opener. Call of the curse. Plus four AP for every Bane in deck slash hand slash discard, so every Bane that we have non-expelled, then attack. Uh, not... Interestingly, not super keen on taking that damage right now. Let's give you a cautious blow. Yes, that has given us more Banes, I'm aware. We'll uh, throw a swift kick in following. A combination strike following that. It's the timely maneuver for the full block, which couldn't have arrived at a better moment. It's it's punctual, is what I'm saying. Oh, it's timely! Oh, I knew there was word for that. It's playing overcharge at the end of the turn. Pass it. Uh, you are already extremely weak. I don't have to worry about hitting you with some more from the leverage. Oh! This is round six? We actually may just not have the damage numbers to get over you. So part of the the ways that she and Future Strike both interact with fatigue, Future Strike gets better the later on, uh, on in the fight, and she is 
it doesn't scale as well into the late game, right? So maybe I should have put more Future Strike into this deck. Or at least more Future Strike with high numbers. I'm a, I'm a try. I'm a, I'm a definitely try and keep us alive. I do not know how successful that is going to be. I want to be quite realistic about the possibilities here with y'all. Still, this is back. Do some stoicism. Drop another bang, getting rid of it. So I want to play Spirit Walk as many times as I can this turn. That's 20 of the defense. Then Mirror Wall. God, I'm giving myself so many banes this turn. Oof. And I gotta slow you this turn if I can as well. I can't slow you this turn. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. We can start with Spirit Essence. No. It's Purge Reconciliation. We know that's never getting played. Let's play Spirit Walk four times here. That doesn't block. That doesn't block. That one does. Spirit Walk, Spirit Walk, Spirit Walk. Spirit Walk and then... Actually, I can use Spirit Essence and, and Swift Kick to get back into Zen. That's kind of interesting, and that'll draw us two cards for doing so as well. Get rid of Careful Advance. I guess Maneuver as well. And then we play Swift Kick into Spirit Essence. Draw two cards. State of Mind's an easy perch here too. So I can re-weaken you with another Spirit Walk right now. I'm not going to, but it could. Instead, we probably go Mirror Guard, Duck and Weave, and Repeating Deflection. The new discard pile gets all of the Banes the enemy is going to award to us. That's one of the reasons that cycling the deck there was really important. Also, you're about to take 60 damage to that Echo, so enjoy. Um, Sift past another Bane, getting rid of it. Yeah, we almost actually ended up full defending that turn. We're going to take six damage. I don't think I need to tell you exactly how bad that could have been for us. Speaking of bad for us, we're not out of the woods just yet. Hmm. I'm going to have to get a hundred more on the enemy this turn. In she... It's pretty hard to do without Spirit Walk. The top card of a discard pile is Duck and Weave. I could... Ugh, I'm, I'm never living to the new draw pile. Right? That's never happening for me. If that's never happening for me, I can play as many block cards as I want in this cycle. I think that is the case. Urge you... This is a setup turn. This has to be a setup turn. I don't have time to do anything else. Push drops as well. That was incorrect, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm no longer getting the duck and weave back. That's okay. We'll play sidestep. I guess maybe maneuvers better block for us now then, because draws. We'll maneuver. And Maneuver should be the top cut. Yeah, it is. Good. Then we can rinse and repeat, getting the Maneuver back. I 
again. Still don't have enough this turn, right? Definitely don't have enough this turn. More block. Version of reconciliation. And we wait. And kill next turn. I'm very glad that we saved our health potion from earlier. Well, that's not uh exactly looking like lethal right there. We've still got two turns, it's just this turn, uh, 243 threat is being generated. Uh, so you might, might pick up what I'm putting down in terms of why I feel scared. Uh, Swift Kick, Spirit Essence. And it's go time. Spirit Walk, Spirit Walk, Spirit Walk. Oof. Hey, we actually got the Black Void Stone as a result of that. Wild. Didn't think I was going to get it. Uh, what do I want to get with the Black Void Stone? It was the Spirit Essence, right? It's still there. Sitting pretty. Oh, God. Concentrate would not be a bad hit with it either, though. I need to ramp my damage. What that last fight just taught me is that my damage is extremely insignificant. Insufficient. Sorry, not insignificant. Although, maybe. But definitely insufficient. <sighs> Rage 50% could help modify that. And it may well have to. Alright, Spider Nest. Let's go. I should also keep the Strength Potion for the final fight. Probably the Energy Potion for the final fight as well. Exploding Portal is probably better here. Rippling Potion, also probably better here. Uh, they will scale out of control without playing attack cards. High Frenzy creatures that get weaker the more that I attack them. If I, Even if I kill them all at once, the Unending Swarm can still have more reinforcements in store. And I can kill them all at once if I really wanted to right now. Hmm. 30%, 30%, 30%. So actually what I really want to do is kill one of them this turn, and then next turn I kill all three. That's the goal. That's the aim. I'm slow and enemy. I, I might actually just get rid of all of the... Actually, you know what? I'm getting rid of all of the boss. This should be faster than that. Okay, so we... Swift Kick you. And then we're going to Spirit Essence one of you two times. Okay, so it's in the chain. That murders you. Okay. And then I literally just need to wait until we have... Actually, I can keep Reconciliation in hand here, too. Eight, nineteen, four... Okay, so I have to play Stoicism here. Because I've got to decrease the amount of uh, unplayed Zen I have at the end of the turn. Otherwise, this Void Spider would have died. Right now it's 14 and 8 is 22. That's not lethal on you. Beautiful. It's not modified by anything. No? Okay. So we'll purge concentrate and timely and leave trance and reconciliation in hand. We kill next time. No! Uh, no! Echo! Echo! I had Echo! Why did I have Echo? All right. Well shucks. Sometimes this is how it goes. So I'm with the cautious blow. Give you a swift kick. Follow the spirit walk and a, another spirit walk. Um, spirit walk there. Trance. Spirit walk. 
two cards left in the play. Purge, purge. I do want that to blow up, but I don't want that to blow up just yet. What goes there? 28, and it's next turn. And I've not got any, uh, any, any surprises up my sleeve where I'm just gonna suddenly kill all the enemies accidentally. Good. All right, it doesn't look like we have anything to that then. Good. Reconciliation. And we're on to the final fight now. Whew. Uh, I did want slow. I mean, look, I'll pop all the potions. I say all the potions, I just pop two. Um, I did want slow involved here. Just a repeatable slow. So not replay. Um, I'm going to get the timely maneuver out of the deck. And the base combination strike. And I'm just going to add two lashing kicks in. I just need to make sure that I have access to slow. Because if the void just hits me with, you know, frenzy. I just die with uh, void marks all over my face. We'll release some souls, heal some damage to the void, and is that it? Are we ready? Have we sharpened all of our pencils? We've used all of our void stones, nightmare steed, and two volatile shield walls to your hand. Um, I probably want to have the access to weak and more she still, especially in AoE. Oh, void touched! Okay. Oh, so you fight the two that aren't you. Good. I, I, I didn't know that. I was wondering why it was everyone except for the the uh, hidden in the last one. All right, let's do it. The voids decay. That's a remorse. If in the hand at the end of the turn we suffer a cripple. Uh, what does cripple do? Can't see it at the moment. Um, oh my god. Rinse and Repeat can bring back State of Mind, which I can play a second time this first turn. That's great. Okay. Purge Maneuver and Lashing Kick. We play No Can Do. We play Back in Time. We play State of Mind. That brings back State of Mind afterwards. And then we purge two more cards to be able to play State of Mind again. Hell yeah. I'm also just going to get leverage out basically every single time I can. Hmm. Watch this blow is a pretty damn good opener right now. And always. And also always. You're taunting too? Avoid touched. Get punched. Mm, I'm also going to purge reconciliation. Maybe second cycle is when we really play that. Play our first spirit walk. Bring us a bunch of cards. Then we can use two spirit essences to get energy back for playing more spirit walks. Do I want to target you with that? Well, I mean, you, I, you're the only one I can target with attack cards. So, yes, is the answer to that. Mirror Guard. I mean, look, I can defend any number of ways next turn. I don't need Mirror Guard to be the way that I do it. We'll Spirit Walk one more time. Now, can I? I can, can't I? Sick. I'm trying to get into Zen as many times as possible because it's dealing eight every time I do it. It's incredible. So, if I purge... Repeating deflection, then play concentrate, and then sidestep duck and weave. I'll drop trance there. We get stoicism. I don't need to play anything there. And then just five more she across the entire enemy party. 
mean, I, I can play and shoot things very good. Okay, no taunt on the board, so we can start throwing the damage back against the void in the middle instead. Hmm. Sidestep stoicism? No one's attacking with Frenzy this turn, so careful advance doesn't feel great. Actually, no, it's it's still good damage from the... Uh, not back in time. Wait, yes, back in time. Or at least decent damage. Yeah, all right, let's start getting aggressive this turn again. Oh, you're hidden. That's why I can hit you. I see, I see, I see. can also weaken you with this slashing kick. I like stoicism, but do I want to play it now? The purge stoicism and repeating deflection. And then we play sidestep, state of mind, duck and weave and lashing kick. And we can use this to scrap this card. Automatically discard at the end of the turn. Unplayable. Wait. Ah, there it is. Your hand size is reduced by the cripple value cleared at the end of your turn. I get rid of it. Yeah, it doesn't go to the expel pile. That makes sense. Okay. Is the Void joining the fight just yet? Um, wait, when do you join the fight again? Uh, we'll be evasive while his minions are active. I don't know if I have the information on the screen currently. For when they will be done with that. This guy pile has a remorse on top of it, makes sense. Ooh, wait a second. No, we're, we've got the right combo in hand. It's, it's Concentrate, and it's Rinse and Repeat, and then it's Rinse and Repeat by playing Concentrate. I'm going to play Sidestep now, but I also don't want to waste the cast on it. Oh, and I don't have to, because Spirit Walk is already everything I need right now. Good. I like it when it's that. Nuba and Mirror Guard. Now am I going to reconcile? Prevent a Bane and a Daze? Yeah, I think that's worth it. Void Touched, you're up next. I'll get you as soon as I can, bud. Heals minions 10%. Yeah, you can try. Uh, that's uh, That's got a plural on. It doesn't need to, bud. I've murdered one of them. Hmm. You're still evasive, so I can't hit you directly. Well, that makes my choice pretty clear. You're also already dead, so I don't really need to put more damage on you. Maybe I purge. Actually, I'm going to purge State of Mind so I can play Mirror Guard. I'm just leaving myself with the Spirit Essence and the Spirit Walk for the next turn. Grant's highest H me minion taunt too. Also, doesn't matter to us. Ooh, I can double your 
effect this turn with a reconciliation. That's actually really good. Okay, uh, let's do it. It's concentrate into rinse and repeat into concentrate. And okay, good. As long as you don't die in the initial, that's all good. Oh, but I can't spirit walk anyone else. Mm. All right, fine. Now we'll use reconciliation on void touched. It dies and it gives all of that back to the void. This is the problem, right? The Void has a lot of HP, and I gain she linearly now. It's quite slow. I mean, that applies slow two on the enemy. It's a bunch of kick on them as well. At the very least, we should do that. Holds? Right? Yeah. Yeah, we hold now. Yeah, we've got six turns until it starts to actively devour our soul. Wow! So does that only start after I kill both of the minions? Because if it does, then, you know, trying to keep the void alive and trying to keep the minions alive and just defending against them might be a thing. This fight is so different to the last time I played. Um, okay. Bane is in there, so we'll use that to discard the Bane. Use Stoicism for draw, then discard the Remorse. Do I want to get into a new draw pile, right? Well, I mean, I'm getting into a new draw pile no matter what I do. Let's draw three cards. Obviously, purchase the cards. Don't need that. No need to have a state of mind. Five cards left in the play. Let's have a lot of max energy there. Okay, fine. Let's play these for max energy that I'll hold later. It's okay. I don't need to use it right now. I can't play enough cards here. Play a careful advance. A repeating deflection out there. Yeah, the idea was trying to get back into trance again this turn, but if I play the trance, then swift kick, swift kick. Can't get all the way back in. Couldn't put Zen back together again. Oh, remorses. Don't like that I have those in here. It scraps, but it doesn't die on scrap. Roll a stoicism. Good. It's a remorse, a void, and a bane left in there. So I'm actually gonna now duck and weave, dropping the remorse, rinse and repeat to bring back duck and weave, and then use duck and weave again to get rid of the bane. My upcoming turns matter a hell of a lot. Applies burning eight and then attack, attacks of 40. Maybe I should just mirror guard. I actually no, we have Echo Wall up. I don't need to mirror guard this turn. Swift kick, swift kick, unchain kick, fine. Fine. Do I want to play mirror guard next turn, or do I want to just spirit walk a bunch? I think I answered that question when I ended my turn then. They're on half HP, but they're also getting real close to the turns where they just murder us, and that's, uh... <laughs> that's about how I feel. All right. Cautious. Mm, spirit walk. Mm, spirit walk again. State of mind, we'll play concentrate, get rid of reconciliation, and then spirit walk. Spirit walk. 
I can spirit walk two more times and then leave lashing kick in hand. Do I want to leave lashing kick in hand after that? No, no, because the enemy's incoming damage is like, yeah, no, I want to, no. I want to play lashing kick. So I guess I spirit walk and then lashing kick. And also leverage. Should have just been doing that constantly, I guess. We're, we're actually making our way there. It's going to be a four-hour episode, but it's going to be a win. <laughs> we'll duck and weave our way past Bane. I'm so glad that I had the duck and weave for the sifting. Then we recur. We'll duck and weave to get rid of the remorse as well. Spirit Walk is available too. Well, look. You know what happens when Spirit Walk is available in hand, right? We can't really play much else. Goodbye, Void. Ridiculous. And that is stepping up to impossible. We have... Two more cards left for this character. The, I mean, these are two new cards as well, by the way. So I think I actually had all of them already mastered previously. Um, let's master the Mirror Guard. I'm going to try and see if I can build an Echo Wall kind of deck at some point. I also just really, really like that card. Quite good statistically. Upgrades to the 17. It's got an Echo Wall on it. It's beautiful. Just across the board. That'll happen after any run that you take to the Void. For the moment, though. Good lord. Long episode, I do know. Uh, make sure to hydrate, make sure to take care of yourself. Yeah, get, go for a little bit of a walk, stretch your legs. If if you don't want to, or if you can't, just you know, look aside the screen for a couple moments, because it's it's been a hell of a long one. But damned enjoyable through and through. God. This run just reminded me of so many of the things I love about Vault of the Void as well. Again, I'll tag this and say, hey, this series is sponsored. It should be considered an advertisement for that reason. But also, I do really like the game. Uh, you can find playlists and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, I would usually say in the description down below. But I made this sweet old end screen that'll do it for us. Hell yeah. Although it is automatically going to take us out. So my name's been Rhapsody. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. That's been Vault of the Void. There's a playlist on the screen as well as a YouTube recommendation as well as the uh, ability to support us on Patreon if you'd like.